It's working. Comments. Hmm. Hey, Lucky Pooh, what's up? Hmm. Hmm. Parang hindi ko magana yung Facebook comments ko. Fail, fail ata ako, fail. <clears throat> fail naman pala eh. Nak nang to ko. Kala ko pa naman nagpakahirap pa ako. Two weeks in a row. Yeah, what's up Lucky Poo? Ang aga mo. 9.40 pa lang. Hindi ko magana yung comments ko. Kala ko pa naman. Kala ko pa naman high-tech itong pinapaandar kong ito. Hmm. Try natin refresh. Test. No, nope, hindi siya gumagana eh. Wala talaga. Hindi tayo mahal. Hindi tayo mahal ni Facebook. Ay, uh, alam mo, pahirapan talaga si Facebook. So, Facebook comments is one of the dumbest goddamn uh, Let's see. 440 pa lang di kasi dito sa Qatar. <laughs> okay ba sir Mi9? Mi9 or Mi90? Baka Mi90 yun yung bago eh. Nasaan na yun? Ito na lang, Facebook Live Comments. Paanda rin natin. Point. Wait, bakit yun? Refresh. Wala na, naloko na. Hindi na go. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. It's uh, early. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we will start a big time show. Wala. Hindi na, hindi na tayo eh, oh, mahal ng Facebook comments. May 9, sir. Ah, yeah. Oh, May 9 is good. Affordable siya. Hiyo ko na. <laughs> Fire up itong uh, pang-capture ng comments ng uh, Facebook. Akala ko gaganda eh. But no. Facebook hates us. Facebook hates streamers. Do you know this? Akala mo, napakabait ni Facebook sa streamers. Napakahirap mag-stream sa Facebook. <laughs> Napakasakit. ng streaming sa Facebook. Ah, oh, yeah, we have to share our link sa ating mga friends sa, uh, ano. Oh, yeah, nakano tayo? 60 FPS tayo ngayon. Wow! Ho! Huh. High-tech yung stream natin ngayon. 60 FPS. Nakakalimut ako baguhin. Uh, so, welcome to uh, the pre-show of BTS. Uh, we'll start at 10 p.m. That's about uh, 17 minutes from now. I started a little bit early because I'm trying something new. As usual, streaming is a... Uh, streaming is a... Interesting world. 
Always changing. Always improving. Always breaking. <laughs> always getting <laughs> broken. Share. Ano ba yan? Just Ah, babalik na lang ako sa lumang streaming technology natin. Nabayaran ni Cherry Mobile yung every... <laughs> Uh, that's that's ano that's a uh, very uh, very uh, <clears throat> very good, good very good observation na bayaran ni Cherry Mobile. <laughs> Napakadami PC stuff today. Um, PC stuff yung ano yung mas impor- mas ano ngayon eh. Si Xiaomi lang naman yung isang nagba na ganun eh, naging interesting news this week eh. Um, <clears throat> si Xiaomi CC9 eh. Kaya lang, di naman lalabas sa Pilipinas yun. Malamang. Hindi ako makasa dyan. <laughs> Labo niyan. Labo niyan, bro. Para mag-share. Uh, show video URL. Yan. I see. So, live ako sa... Pangalan ko ang live, hindi yung group. Wala na, hindi ko na naiintindihan itong... Sakit sa ulo talaga yung Facebook stream. Sakit, 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 sakit sa ulo. Oh, well. Tingnan mo yung tingnan mo yung post ko sa tingnan mo yung post ko sa Big Time Show community naging for sale pa. For sale BTS contact seller. Ay, wow. Ang galing Facebook. I love you. I love you. Facebook, I love you. Galing mo. <laughs> for sale. Ay, nako. So, saan masasave itong video na to? Sa... Naging for sale pa. For sale, BTS, contact seller. Ay, what? Saan, saan mapupunta itong video na to Sa personal ko? O sa group? Ah, yan ang tanong. Ha? Saan masasave? Napaka, I, I know, <laughs> napaka konti lang ng, uh, Nakikita nyo from the side ng nanonood sa, ng stream. Pero si Facebook, alam mo yon parang lagi kang nila... Lagi kang... Uh, ano eh? Lagi kang... Uh, si Facebook yung parang driver na... Kahit anong iwas mo, gusto kang banggain. yon si Facebook. yon si Facebook. Kahit anong iwas mo, kahit anong gawin mo para hindi kayo magka-problema, maghahanap ng problema si Facebook. Ay, nako. So, ayan. Uh, wala tayong, wala tayong uh, embedded comments from Facebook. Babasahin ko na lang yan. Amaya. Anyway, hindi naman masyadong mabigat ang ating topic. Apakaaga tuloy natin nagsimula. <sighs> Si, uh... <laughs> ah, shit post na lang nakikita ko sa aking, uh... sa aking ano. Yeah, Mi 9, um, ang ganda ng price point ni Xiaomi Mi 9, eh. Uh, ang hirap lang makahanap ng stocks. Dito sa Pilipinas, ang hanap makahirap ng stocks, eh. Uh, honestly, right now, since napakahirap na, wala, wala pang, hindi pa lumalabas si Mi, si, uh, Redmi, hindi, uh, si, ano, si, Si Mi 9T Pro, putak teng pangalan yan. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. <sighs> Pinapahirapan na tayo ni Xiaomi sa pangalan eh. Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro. Ah, six syllables. Si 
Six syllables. Tapos yung bago nilang cellphone is uh, Xiaomi Mi CC9. Tapos meron pang ano, CC9E. Ah. Ay. Wow. Magdagdag pa kayo ng letter. <laughs> Magdagdag pa kayo ng iba't ibang letters. Sa likod ng inyong uh, smartphone names. Dagdagan nyo pa. CC9 May 2 Edition. Oh. Yan. Oh. Xiaomi CC9 May 2 Edition. Oh, 10 syllables. Wow! Uh, ano ba? I think the, the Xiaomi CC9 Well, mamaya pag usapan natin Napakaagat talaga natin nagsimula Gusto ko kasi subukan yung ating bagong ano eh Bagong Death, Death Star Tech eh Hindi naman gumagana yung bagong Death Star Tech Death Star Tech Ano ba yung naklik ko? Kalang Relax muna tayo Ano ba ginagawa ni B-Boy pag walang ginagawa? Ang kwento. Wala, wala akong ano eh. <laughs> wala akong uh, wala akong bunny para <laughs> wala tayo wala tayong ano. Kailangan gaya natin si B-Boy. Kailangan bumili tayo ng ano ng uh, ng uh, Tamiya. Dali lang. Mag-aayos muna ako dito ng gamit para prepared na ako. Ah uh, PC News is live this week. Ano ba yan? Gusto ko na magsimula. Magsisimula na ako. In 3 minutes, magsimula tayo. PC Master Race is very big this week. Because PC Master Race is... Uh, honestly, wala na akong... Uh, wala namang exciting sa smartphones. Eh. Ano, pa, ano pang exciting sa smartphones ngayon? Wala nga yung ano, Mi 90 Pro. Sakit sa ulo. Um, at this point in first week of first week of uh, 29 first week of July 2019, the answer to smartphone consumers' questions right now is to buy the the Redmi K20 Pro. Kasi wala pang Mi 90 Pro at Data what? Subalit. Uh, ano pa ba yan? Marami yan eh. Marami yung version na yan eh. Data what? Subalit. Kumbaga. Hindi. Hindi. hindi iba yun eh. <laughs> Pero. <laughs> um, ano ba yun? Uh, si ano? Si India. Balita, balita tayo. Ay, 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 ay. Let's start with the news. Welcome to the Big Time Show. I'm Alex from TechnoClass.com. You're watching the Big Time Show. It is Saturday, July 6th, 2019. Happy Independence Day to the Americans out there. We're going to start the show. The show is about gadgets and technologies and stuff like that. Marami dapat. Normally, we usually talk about smartphones, but this month, this week... It's all about the PC because nobody... Ano pa bang meron sa smartphone ngayon? Wala na meron sa smartphone ngayon. It's all about PC masteries. I know yung, yung audience ko is a lot about smartphones. Because everybody... It's, it's, auto chess is life and ML is life. But... Uh, the, <sighs> PC Master Race. So, meron, meron na bang nag-register ng website na yun? PCMasterRace.com PCMasterRace.org Wait, sige nga. PCMasterRace.com Huh. Go daddy. Go daddy. PCMasterRace.com Ah, oh, nabili na siya. Ah, hindi na available si PCMasterRace.com PCMR.com Ah, nakuha na rin si PCMR.com. Wala na. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> rip. Wala. Wala. Sayang yung, pina- sayang yung pinag-isipan na naiisip natin. Wala na, wala na. I mean, obviously, naman makuha na yung PCMasterRace.com tsaka PCMR.com. <laughs> Let's get right into the news! Okay, tanggalin na natin yung ating pan- pantak- pantaklob. Okay. <laughs> welcome to the new welcome to the show. Slightly um may ginawa ako in the background na about to sa comment system natin but hindi gumana so you know what? Rip me. Rip me is life, no? Rip me is life. Okay. Leonel Shoka says Ryzen 3 too much hype. Well, baka naman yung too much hype mo baka naman negative yung dating. Dapat so much hype. I'm hyped. Or Ryzen 3. Uh, must wait for benchmarks. Pag need ko, upgrade mukhang next year or sa middle of 2020, baka sakali. I'm so excited. And I can't, j- just can't hide it. <laughs> and daming PC stuff. It's so exciting. PC, PC right now is at the most excitements of, 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 of ever excitements ever. Uh, let's talk about the PC stuff. So, Ryzen 3 is about to be available in like two weeks from now. Two weeks, I think. Ang tanda ko sa ating availability. Now, I'm not all. I'm not a early adapter person, no. But I've been meaning. I've been looking for a upgraded PC for a while. For a while now, no. I'm still using a. Uh, so you can see my PC. Ko. Pwede mo? System. Ah, uh, yan. Ah, hindi, hindi nyo makikita rin. Nasaan yung ano? About. <laughs> hindi na ako marunong. Yan. O, oh, yan. Makikita nyo pa yung device ID ko. <laughs> Dali. Dito na lang tayo sa, ano, sa control at shift. Control, shift, escape. So, yan. Here we go. So, uh, for me, my specs is uh, Intel Core i7-6700, non-K. Is non-overclockable CPU, 3.4 gigahertz. Uh, I think nagbubus ito to 3.8 if I'm not mistaken, but may- maybe not. I don't remember anymore. Yeah, you can see na 3.75 siya ngayon. So 3.8 gigahertz max ata ako. Um, hindi ako may hindi naman ako mahilig mag-overclocking ano. Uh, medyo tamad ako sa mga tweaking tweaking. I just like very stock. Uh, I like a high-end stock. Uh, experience na lang. Pero, one of these days, baka mag-overclocking din ako. Um, ito lang, I, I played very safe dito. This is one of my... Binuo ko to three years ago. 29, 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, tatlong taon na rin si Core i7-6700. Hindi naman siya slouch, pero alam mo yun, to be more productive, I would like a more powerful processor na rin. Um... Binili ko yung CPU na to. It's like 15,000 pesos, no? Um, my, how times have changed. Uh, so, uh, you can see my GPU. is a 1080 Ti. So, medyo, I like, I like, I like. Good, good. Although, medyo na ano na rin ako sa bagong GPU. Especially mga RTX. Um, kasi gusto ko mag-ray tracing. Eh. I mean, isang game lang naman gusto kong laruin sa ray tracing. I know, sorry. Medyo marami na bobor dito sa topic na to siguro. Ah, uh, hindi naman. Ano yung ray tracing? Meron ba niyan sa ML? <laughs> sa 30 FPS mo- Mobile Legends? Ah, <laughs> uh, lumalaban na sa prices left and right. Much better sa laban ni Pacquiao. <laughs> sa kapatid ko nga nasa i5-6400 nga. It's still good for her. PSO2. Damn. I played that a little bit. PSO2. Um, kaya lang, ang sakit ng ano yung... Ang sakit ng walang trading, walang ano... Grinding lang talaga si PSO2 pero naging matindi ako dyan. Kaya kong mag-combo sa PSO2. Ano ba yun yung gunner? May combo yung gunner na hindi, never kang babagsak sa ground eh. Lagi ka lang nasa air. Pa, pa, pa. Tapos meron kang flip up at pa, pa, pa. Kailangan lang maganda yung timing mo. May, may, ano, may exact frame. Kailangan bumabaril-baril ka. Anyway. Um, so, very exciting times for PC this this month. Actually, yeah, this month. no, it's, uh, July of 2019. Ngayon, being as uh, we're in the Philippines, hindi ganun kabilis dumating sa Pilipinas ito. But, if you have the money, kaya mo talagang bumili this July. 
Um, and hindi naman sobrang laki yung difference ng price from this July. Um, obviously, next month is probably the best time to buy for price la to... Uh, yun yung price to timing ratio. Okay, yun na lang sasabihin ko. Price to timing ratio. Kasi, um, ang, ang theory ko dyan is if you wait too long, mababa nga yung price pero maluluma agad yung uh, binili mo. If you buy too early, like this month, July, masyadong mahal pa. Hindi pa masyadong nagre-readjust yung prices. So, in my opinion, the best price to buy is next month, June, July, August. August na. Oh my God. August na next month. Wow! Um, malapit na birthday ko. <laughs> Tatanda na naman ako. Magiging 13 years old na ako. Uh, so, in my opinion, if you have the money, mga, mga yung price nyan is mga 2,000, 3,000 pesos higher current in, in, in the first month. Sigurado lang. And then next month, magiging mas adjusted na siya, mga 2,000 pesos less. So, nagtitipid ka, buy it August. Kung nagmamadali ka, buy it today, and then kainin mo yung 2,000 peso na mas mataas na price. Uh, anything September, October, November, December is medyo sweet spot pa rin. Just, um, hindi na yung magan medyo hindi masyadong nagtitaper down yung price. Eh. Kasi, kunwari, first month is ma malaki yung pababa eh. First month, malaking pababa. Second month, ganyan. Tapos yung third month, halos flat na. Third month, fourth month, fifth month, flat, 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 flat. So, sec second month is a little, is almost the best. Kasi bago pa rin yan, wala pa rin, konting-konti pa rin may ari. <laughs> ma 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 aamoy mo yung, ma 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 take advantage mo yung kabaguhan ng produkto. Anyway. Uh, Infinity Fire ng Gunner. Never tried, pero yun, sabi sa akin. Yeah! Um, hindi ko na matandaan kung ano. Basta talagang sobrang... Alam mo yun, it's so... Yung Infinity Fire ng Gunner talagang... Mararamdaman mo eh. Bakit nalalaglag ako? Bakit nalalaglag ako? Tapos, uh, pag gumagaling ka ng gumagaling, hindi ka nalalaglag. So, may ano talaga... Oh my God! Okay yun ah. Tapos, unti-unti mo magigets yung exact timing, exact timing, exact timing. Hindi ka na nalalaglag. Um, uh, uy, magse-September uli. May magugulo sa sound system na naman sa sound system ng Mulz. Anyway, let's talk about the new uh, processors ni AMD Ryzen. Um, I know, si Intel may, da may bagong processor pero hindi naman pinansin ng mundo because ano naman eh, hindi naman interesting yung bagong ano, hindi pa kalalabas eh. So, the new processors from uh, AMD is the Ryzen 3. Th Ryzen third generation. So we've had the Ryzen 1 generation which is the pinakamataas one was 1700X. That was an 8 core 16 thread um, processor which basically put Intel into defensive na. Uh, the next na lumabas was the I believe 2800X which is also I believe an 8 core 16 thread. No? Um, so, ang bago ngayon is the 3900X or yung 3 series, Ryzen 9, also a new model. So, usually, dati Ryzen 7 lang yung pinakamataas. Ngayon may Ryzen 9 na. Ryzen 9 3900X is the highest end variant and may mas tataas pa dyan eventually. Uh, currently, the Ryzen 9 3900X is 12 core, 24 <laughs> Threads. So, wow. That's a 50% extra power bump, extra core bump over the 3800X with the 8 core uh, uh, 16 thread. Um, technically, okay. It, <laughs> yung ano lang, and it's also, uh, uh, pag tinignan mo, mag, 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 may tama ba yun? 65 watts, plus 95 watts yung ano, yung Ryzen 536. What? Toto ba yan? Um, anyway, estimated price daw nito or yung mga leak prices is under 30,000 si uh, 12 core 24. Um, para sa akin medyo mahal pero you have to ano eh, you have to consider the Ryzen 7 3800X price at 23,000 pesos. Now, the Ryzen 
2800X is like 20,000 pesos or like 18. Malaki din yung difference. There's like a 4,000 peso, 5,000 peso price bump from the previous Ryzen uh, 8 core 16 thread. Now, medyo masakit, di ba? In my opinion, baka, baka kung ganyan pa rin yung price in a, in a few months, baka mag 2700X na lang ako. I forgot ano yung upgrades nila with the third, the third gen. I'm sure there's like better clock speed, better overclocking, something like that. Uh, and also, meron silang bagong highfalutin na motherboard, the RX, uh, the X570 na nagpamahal pa lalo ng motherboard. Ah, uh, ina yung battles ma mahirap talaga pag bago kaya total wait time. Sakali kung gusto ata nung processors lang bibilin. Junching, mahalaga ba sa gaming ang core threads? Um, hindi gaano. Okay, so depende sa game, but typically ang core threads is mostly for video rendering, um, multitasking. Uh, pero may mga games sa gumagamit ng multi-threads, no? Pero ang typical games ngayon, Pinakamaraming threads na ginagamit is marami na yung 8 maximum is mga 16 threads no pero marami na yung 8 so typically ang most games is like 4 threads ang ginagamit that's as most games today and then yung mga medyo advanced games is 8 threads so 4 and 8 typically okay na ako so uh, in my opinion yung 4 core 8 thread processors are pretty good no but uh, yung mga matititinding games na medyo very, yung ginagamit na lang typically for benchmarking purposes, yan umabot ng 16 threads, no? Um, pero, honestly, for 98%, 99% of gaming, all you need is about 8, uh, eight threads. 4 core 8 threads. 4 core 8 threads. That's why a lot of i5 uh, processors are best for gaming because those are now 4 core 8 threads. Uh, or uh, some even Ryzen 5s are... Eh, tika mo, tika mo, Ryzen 5 na ito is 6 core 12 thread. Eh. Um, the thing is, they're, nagmumura kasi sila. They're becoming very, very affordable. So, uh, ang, ang very uh, interesting lang dyan is, you know, it, the higher core count is getting cheaper. So, sometimes, just get the... Even though hindi gamit ng games yan, just get the higher core count because... Mas madali mag-streaming. ba? Mas madali mag-streaming sa PC because you're playing the game on 8 threads and then another 8 threads is used for uh, streaming your video. Diba? Um, so, hindi masya, that's a huge boon for multitasking, streaming, and rendering ng video. So, for me, malaking bagay yan for making 4K content na ginagawa ko sa YouTube ko even though wala pa ako na-upload recently. <laughs> Uh, alam ko mga lumang games hindi mahalaga ang course. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Malay natin yung ilang pagdating ng FF7 remake. I heard says 100 gig pa naman yun. Um, knowing, ano, knowing uh, Square Enix, hindi naman malakas sa multitasking uh, core si Square Enix. Eh. Hindi naman sila updated sa mga ganyan. Hindi sila, ano, uh, inter hindi sila developer that pushes the boundaries of, of technology. So, I'm I'm sure nasa mga 8 thread si Final Fantasy 7 malamang. Anyway, let's talk about pricing. So, itong uh, all of this stuff is exciting mostly for a lot of content creators, a lot of streamers and very very high enthusiast gamers. Um and then some workstation people, medyo mga medyo hindi naman masyado mainstream 'yon, but for the mainstream, ang pinaka-interested diyan is medyo may yung may konting budget na gamers, no? Uh, content creators or budding uh, uh, amateur content creators like me, I would, I, I would consider myself an amateur content creator uh, kasi, well, I, hindi naman ako, ano, hindi ako nagtatrabaho in a professional environment na gumagawa ako ng professional content, no? Uh, pangatlo, streamers. So, mostly content creators lahat sa mainstream and game and high-end gamers. Okay. So, ang pricing niyan, ang estimate is nasa 30,000 si Ryzen 9 3900X. Medyo sakit, masakit. But, this is still af more affordable than anything Intel has to offer. I think less than half the price than uh, an Intel, uh, I think, 10 core. An Intel 10 core is like 50,000. Hindi ko na matandaan. Hindi na, ako, wala ako, hindi na ako sumusunod sa Intel because napakahina ng kanilang 
competitiveness ngayon sa processors. Unless you consider yung single core speeds, no? Anyway, uh, yan yung mga leak prices. I think the sweet spot here here is probably the 3800X at 23340. Uh, maybe even the 3700X. Um, I forgot ko ano yung difference nitong 3700 sa 3800. This is, the 3700X is easily the better alternative to the 2700X. The 2700X right now is priced at 18K. Um, yeah, then. And I think, honestly, ako kasi, like I said, I spent 15,000 pesos for my processor. And nasa, nandun na ako sa price point na yun eh. Nandun na ako sa price point ng 3700X. Almost there. Na dapat, yun na yung next target ko, 3700. And look at this, 2700X is now 15,560. Bababa pa ito in the next few months for sure. Um, and mas mura yung motherboards nito. <laughs> Actually, parang gusto ko talaga mag 2700X sa price na 15K. Oh. Ang laki din ng difference. But I, I'm, I'm gonna wait and see a little bit kung gano'ng kababa itong darating na 3700X. Feeling ko baka maging 17 yan before the end of December. But syempre, like I said, the sweet spot is August. And then si PC Configure Computer Center, isa sa mga sinusubaybayan ko to, na taga-angilis to eh, kapampangan to eh. Ito yung mga, some of their combo pricing. Uh, kasi, typically, they sell bundle with motherboards. Particularly because, unang-una, nakaka-ano sila, nakakabenta sila ng mas, mas maraming produkto pag binandal nila with motherboard. Pangalawa, is limited yung, typically limited yung CPU most of the time. Uh, so, parang, Instead of like selling out their CPUs, ubus agad yung CPU nila, then wala silang mabentang motherboard, they usually bundle, no? And plus, usually the, the manufacturer ng motherboard gives them incentives, like extra in, in, incentives, like pera, yun nga, uh, extra commission, pag binandel nila, para makabenta ng motherboard at the same time. So typically, early on, bihira yung walang bundles ng motherboard and CPU, especially in this new era of new motherboard system na hindi compatible sa Luma. The CPU is still compatible with old motherboards, but to unleash its full potential, its full power, kailangan mo ng X570 motherboard. So, yun yung mga bagong X570. Now, I think some of these are so overpriced, no? Uh, motherboards can get really ridiculously priced talaga. I mean, sure, may mga features talaga sila na magaganda, pero... Um, para sa akin, for a motherboard to be priced the same as a CPU, medyo, you're, you're asking a little bit much na. Uh, so, look at the combos nito. The most affordable 3700X. Wala pa nga yung iba eh. Wala pa, yung, wala pa siyang pricing for the 3800X or the 3900X. We just have the Ryzen 7 3700X. And combo with the X570A Pro, 80, maging 80, 28K. So, 10,000 pesos yung motherboard. Think, think about that. 10,000 pesos for a motherboard. Damn. I've never paid more than 7,000 for a motherboard so far. But then again, I'm very, very cheap. So, <laughs> I guess ganun talaga ang panahon ngayon. Plus, the X570 kasi may bagong technology. They have the PCIe times... Uh, PCIe 4? PCIe 4, right? Tech, uh, that's a new connector ngayon for PCIe. Much, much faster. Konti pa lang makakapag-take advantage, particularly si RX Navi process, uh, graphics card. So anyway, um, magkano, uh, as previously said, uh, must be sold with an X570. Okay. As previously discussed, even the lowest AMD Ryzen 3 3200G APU must be sold with an X570. Um, so, medyo masaklap lang ito that uh, ngayon currently you cannot buy one without the without the motherboard. That actually sort of increases your price point. Although if you're if you don't have an old motherboard naman ng Ryzen, it's going to be a purchase anyway. Uh ito yung magiging estimated pricing uh According to this official pricing na, official pricing leak. This is back to gaming, by the way. Kila, kila boss mak ito. Um, um, 
honestly, this is not too expensive for a lot of PC components. This is actually very abut kaya At, up until the Ryzen 7 3800X. Um, pero yung 3900X is a little too much for me. Uh, nasa na, isang buong PC na yung 30,000 30, pesos eh. Bibili ka pa ng bibili ka pa ng RAM, bibili ka pa ng bagong SSD. And if you're if you think about it, if you're buying a a third Ryzen 9 3900X, medyo kailangan matindi rin yung motherboard mo, matindi rin yung case mo, matindi rin yung RAM mo, matindi rin yung storage mo. Hindi pwedeng chipi pa yan. So you're going to have to put money into a lot of these uh, other other components if you're buying such a high-end device, no? So, you have to think about that. Kasi the, the higher end, you're, ano, <laughs> isipin mo kung naka 3900X ka, tapos yung graphics card mo, naka 1050 ka lang or something, diba? Anyway, uh, that's the pricing. Uh, it's interesting and also very competitive. I think, for all the people, for a lot of high-end consumers na lang, the 3700X is a good price point at 19 k because it's just a just that much of a step up enough from the 30 2700X for just uh, extra 4,000 pesos. Kung sobrang tipid ka, just go for the 2700X and maybe you'll be safe for another year or so. Uh, it's only you have to ask yourself if you want to go with the older CPU lang. Uh, ako kasi I like to be current because when I buy something, it has to be current. Um, unless secondhand or something. No. Uh, let's see. Ano mga comments? Uh, $200 na daw ang 2700X estates. Nice. That's uh, 10,000 pesos. Hopefully, doon nangyari sa Pilipinas yun. Hopefully that room, maganda pang budget bill dyan kung $200 in 2700X. Oh, hataw yun. Uh, hopefully that rumor na ang B550 by the next year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yung budget motherboard. Uh, di naman sa pag... Honestly nga, madami na bumibili na sa AMD Ryzen build. Of course. Um, eh, maraming laptop. Ryzen na ngayon eh. Kasi si Intel maraming problema ngayon eh. Pwede rin ako mabot ng 3600MHz daw with sa RAM. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. Mas mataas na yung yung top speed ng RAM ng bagong bagong motherboard and bagong uh, Ryzen. Medyo ano talaga, high-end talaga. Kung pag-uusapan mo, medyo they're pushing the boundaries of high-end. Uh, for the, for a low, for an entry, for medyo uh, affordable price point. Yun nga lang. Um, when you're pushing the boundaries of high-end, yung components is also expensive. <laughs> wala na sa wala na sa utak ko yung mga ganun kasi ang target ko lang mga 3200 MHz memory. Uh ako Ryzen din Ryzen 5 at Vega 11. Nice. I have a feeling pag ako para sa upgrade ko from Ryzen 2600 baka R5 3600X almost boost same sa 3700X. Yeah, pero what are you going to do with your old GP? Oh, old uh CPU boy pa yan. Pwede pwede pa yan eh. Hahataw pa yan eh. Bibenta mo na lang. Baka may bumili pa niyan pag binenta mo sa second hand. Actually, yun yung gusto ko eh. Baka maghahanap ako ng Ryzen na second hand. Alam mo yun? Baka may matsambahan ako. Although, medyo risky din. Bumili ng second hand, of course. Tingin tayo sa market. Marketplace. Marketplace. Uh, Ryzen. Gaming PC. Pucha, lahat, lahat na lang nakasulat gaming PC eh. Comedy uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Techware. Ano yung processor? Ryzen 5 1600. Wait, this is not bad. Yo. This is not bad. Look at this. 20,000 for a Ryzen 5 1600. Uh, B450 na uh, motherboard. RX 570 4 gig. Baka ito yung mga ano, piratang. Baka ito minining na uh, ano to, eh, na GPU to eh. And then he has 8 gigs of RAM, a 240 gig SSD, 500 gig hard drive. Wala akong pakialam sa fans niya, but kasama na rin yun. Cooler Master 500 watts PSU. Rock Anyag. This is not bad. This is not bad. Our Ryzen 5 1600. Taga Angela si Kuya. Not bad for a starter kit for 20k. This is a good, this is a good little budget kit for a 
for 20k, no? The RX 570 is pretty good. The 8 gigs of RAM gets you a lot. The Gigabyte 240 gig is going to make your boot times and load times fast. And then you have a, a, a Ryzen 5 1600. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see, ano pa mga second hand dito? Ryzen 5 2400G, 6000, mahal naman nun. Brand new Ryzen 7 1700. Wow, brand new. Wow, ano naman to? Luman-luman na ng processor mo. 10,000 pesos. Hmm. Wala nagbibenta ng processor lang mag usually. RIP. Uh, Ryzen 7 2700 at 15. Bagong brand, ano to, brand new to. Ganda naman ang tindahan niya. Parang nung textile store. Ay, hindi, mga cellphone shop. Ryzen Gigabyte HyperX. Ano to? Promo bundle. Ah, ano to? Seller. Ano to? Tindahan to. Puro angeles yung lumilito ngayon. Sa ano ko. Anyway, um, asan na yung binabasa natin? Yun. Ah, uh, very interesting new processors from AMD. It's gonna make waves in the next year or so. Uh, right now, hindi pa siya nararamdaman. Pero for sure, by next year, halos lahat tayo, halos lahat ng alam natin sa high-end gaming PCs is Ryzen 3rd gen. Uh, yun ang magiging, ano ngayon, yun yung magiging dominant force in PC building next year is Ryzen 3rd gen. Anyway, I'm gonna close na to. Let's move on to the next topic, which is another AMD topic. Uh, ano ba to? Kuya, add mo sa topic mo kung pwede Oppo K3 at Lenovo Z6. Nilagay ko na si Lenovo Z6, si Oppo K3, tingnan natin. Um, hindi na ako masyadong Oppo K3. Why not? Philippines. Launches in China lang naman pala eh. May 23. Ah, hindi. Asa na? Uh, May 24. Ha? Huh? Kailan na ba nilabas to? May pa to ah. Mayo pa tong topic na to ah. Nilabas ba sa Pilipinas? Huh. Uh, true, ay mas mura ng gaming laptops with Ryzen CPU. Yeah, kasi pahirapan yung Intel ngayon. Intel is having, having trouble with... Um, Intel is having trouble with producing chips. First of all, producing lang ng chips. Ha? Pero hirap pa rin... Mas, bukod, bukod sa producing chips, hindi competitive yung chips nila ngayon. Hindi, hindi maraming cores and mahal. They're more expensive, no? So, yun ang problem with current Intel chips right now is napaka konti ng stock and ang konti ng uh, cores or hindi competitive in terms of, you know, gaming cores. Um, baka lilitaw si B-Boy sa PC. Hindi ko nga alam. Dapat mag-PC na si B-Boy. Magpalit na sa... May ano, may... Sabi ni B-Boy may 1080 Ti siya eh. Pero tamad lang siya. Gusto niya lang kasi console. Napakadali kasi daw mag-console. Medyo agree naman ako, pero wala kasing ano eh. Ano, ang console, napaka-basura ng frame rate. Tapos sakit sa mata. The, the one time, one, uh, Oppo, ah, uh, is and, um, so, yung the, the one, um, Nung kung uh, there was one point in time kung kailan nag-decide ako na ayaw ko nang mag-console is when I played Assassin's Creed Origins on PS4 on stock PS4. Um doon ako nagalit sa console. Doon ako sumabog yung utak ko sa galit sa console. Because ang ang asa na ba yung review ko ng Assassin's Creed Origins? Ang saklap ng buwisit na frame rate ng buwisit na Assassin's Creed na yun. Uh, Saan ba yun? Mute ko na lang. It, it, it was... 
at max it went to 30 fps yun yung stock yun yung stock ng uh, frame rate ni ano ni Assassin's Creed eh. pero ay boy set yung ano yung the eh, ang slowdown siya umabot ng like 10 fps tingnan mo yan sakit sa mata hindi yan eh nasaan yung pinaka mabagal niyang point Sobrang daming slowdown. Hindi, I, mean, I, I have to admit, pwedeng kasalanan ni Ubisoft or not, pero buwis. Dapat nag-PC na lang ako. Hindi. 1080p lang to. 1080p lang yan. 30fps. Hindi pa kinakaya. Nasaan yung pinaka mabagal na point? I'm sure nandito lang yun somewhere. Yan yes, ako nilagay. Ined, pinakahirap kong edit edit to. <laughs> yung uh, uh, one of these days babalik ako sa mga game reviews. Anyway, ang point ko dito is napaka miserable ng experience ko playing this game at 1080p, 30fps na lumaabot ng 10fps pa minsan minsan. Halos sumuko ako eh. Alam mo yung nag, 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 nag-rescue lang sa akin from console gaming is yung, eh, yung, yung game na yun is yung interpolation frames ng TV ko. Bin, binuksan ko. Hindi ko na ino-on yung interpolation frames ng TV because nasisira yung look ng game. Pero, dahil napakasakit sa mata nung Assassin's Creed Origins at 10 frames per second, binuksan ko yung interpolation frames ng TV ko. Anyway, Ah. Uh, Good mga kuya, uh, no mas okay sa dalawa, Lenovo Idea, IdeaPad L340 or Asus Stuff FX505 DT. Ayun, sabi ni Kuya Norms Asus. Hindi ko alam yung specs nung ano, but the uh, L340 seems pretty good, no. I like Lenovo kasi yung design niya maganda eh. But in terms of brand ano, uh reliability, well pareho lang, I guess, but Mas ano eh, mas, uh, mas matagal na sa gaming si Asus. So, ano. Pero hindi ko alam yung specs talaga. <laughs> hindi ko na pinapansin. <laughs> hindi ko na pinapansin yun usually. Um, nasa na tayo? Uh, back to the RX 5.8, uh, RX 5700, 5700 XT. Um, ano nga bang... Yun, so si B-Boy, gusto niya daw yung convenience ng console. Ako naman, uh, payag sana ako sa console pero hindi na ako sumusunod sa quality, hindi na sumusunod sa sa gusto kong quality yung console ngayon eh. Buti kung, okay lang kung hindi ka masyadong maarte, no? Um, but ako medyo masakit sa mata ko eh. Hindi, hindi ko na kaya eh. I've been... Sobrang sanay na ako sa high resolution gameplay. Sobrang sanay na ako sa high frame rate gameplay na hindi ko kayang payagan na may game na umaandar at 10 FPS sa console. Hindi ko as sakit sa ano sa ulo. The only thing I play on consoles these days is mga exclusives, no. Um and then sa Nintendo Switch ko I play puzzle games sometimes. And syempre pag naka, nasa labas ako ng bahay, Nintendo Switch na laro ko. Because wala namang, uh, hindi mahirap magdala ng gaming laptop, paubusan ka ng baterya. So, KB Boy kasi gusto niya yung convenience na bubuksan niya yung console, magsisimula na siya. Um, pati si, yung kanyang ano. Um, anyway, wala pa rin tatalo sa 144 FPS na 144 hertz or 100 hertz ko, yung 100 hertz monitor ko dito. Wala pa rin tatalo sa 4K HDR TV ko dito sa harap ko. Uh, in terms of graphical fidelity and uh, naka 1080 Ti ako so I can push up to 4K typically. Hindi ang masama niya. Yung 1080 Ti medyo bitin siya for like full full power 10, uh, 4K 60 FPS. Pero pwede na rin. <laughs> Most games is running like kung kung todo 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 specs, todo todo quality sa akin. Kaya ko 4K like 45 FPS most of the time. Anyway, huwag na natin pag-usapan yun. Ang point ko lang is, 
Walang kwenta yung consoles ngayon. Napaka-baba ng specs. Napaka-baba ng performance. Hindi, barely can keep up with 1080p. Barely. Barely can keep up with 1080p. Everybody runs at 1080p on PCs these days. Mahiya kayo sa, ban- mahiya kayo sa, pantog- sa, ano nyo, sa, sa sarili nyong bandila. Ewan ko, hindi ko alam. May mga tao na parang, oh, okay lang yan, 20 FPS. Okay lang yan, 20 FPS. Come on. Sakit sa ulo. Anyway, uh, ang lalo rin ko na lang sa consoles is mga exclusives. Um, I'm not I'm not saying bad things about consoles necessarily. It's just, if you're gonna make games for consoles, at least paanda rin mo ng 60 FPS. <laughs> or 30 at least fix 30 fps <laughs> i-fix mo naman sa 30 fps hindi mo mabagsak ng 10 fps maawa ka sa mata namin maawa ka sa mata ko but ang point ko lang is PCs have come a very very long way even the most basic gaming PCs you can buy right now um, even a budget 20,000 25,000 gaming PC will bitch slap a console at the same price Nasa 20k yung ano ha, console ngayon ha. Okay, sabihin natin pinakamurang PS4 is like 15,000. 20 mil na lang. Bigyan mo ako ng 20 mil, pwede kitang gawa ng PC that runs 1080p, 144Hz on a lot of games. A lot of games, no? So, masakit. Masakit yung hindi ka umabot ng 30fps. Anyway. Uh, so, uh, Hopefully, si B-Boy mag, mag PC ulit. Um, para makapaglaro kami. Gusto niya mag, ano, eh, mag racing game, kaya lang gusto niya PS4 racing game. Eh. Um, hindi kami magkikita-kita doon. <laughs> Ang racing game ko medyo... Hindi, hindi na hindi na pang bata yung hindi hindi pang uh, little boys and little girls ang racing game ko. Tingnan nyo, may ginawa ko sa ano ko. I'm a sim racing enthusiast. So, here's what I did. Gumawa ko ng... Yan, ito, video ko ito eh. Pako yan eh. This is what I did with my uh, setup. No, I made... So, this is for rallying. This is a setup for rally racing. A sequential shifter style. Ang sequential shifter is hindi each pattern na may 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No? Uh, this mod that I did is a sequential rally shifter style. Pag nag rally ka, when you're driving a rally car in a professional rally, ang shifter niya is up-down lang. Up-down, up-down, up-down. If you do down, that's a shift up, 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 up. Alam ko, baligtad yung, pang- yung dating. But uh, in rally, ganun yung driving nila. I can show you right now. Nandito sa left side ko yung... Ano, I mean, I can sort of show you if I move my camera, pero tatamad ako. <laughs> um, mahilig ako sa sim racing. Uh, pero itong sequential shift mode ko, Hindi ko ipapermanent yan kasi hindi rin ako ganun kahilig sa rally. Mas gusto ko yung, yung actual road cars na one. I like street racing. I like street racing more than rally racing. Pero ngayon, bumili ako ng dirt rally. So I'm playing with uh, rally racing with the sequential shifter na. Up shift, up shift, up shift, down shift, down shift, down shift, down shift. Tapos nakita nyo dun sa video, meron akong handbrake. Yan. So hindi standard sa mga sim racing yan. Handbrake. Nasa kaliwa. That's a professional quality handbrake device. Mahal yan. <laughs> Even though hindi, siya, hindi pa rin siya ganun kaganda. But, uh, only pa- oh, those things are only possible on PC. Yung mga ganun ka-customized rig for ra- rally, for racing like that. Um, but, if si gusto ni B-Boy mag-racing like P- Grand Turismo or something, pwede, akong, pwede kong gawa ng solusyon nan. Yung aking rig. Uh, ang problema kasi, ang kailangan ko ng adapter. Kasi this is a PS3 racing uh, wheel. So, kailangan ko ng adapter ng PS3 to PS4. Which is going to cost a little bit. Like 1,000 plus at tayo. Hindi ko alam kung ganun kaganda yung adapter. Pero, pwede naman. Kung, kung gusto talaga ni B-Boy, pwede kami mag-racing-racing mag, mag sa Gran Turismo. Um, <laughs> sa yung, yung Gran Turismo, maganda-ganda din. Eh. Kaya lang... Sana may PS4 Pro ako para pwedeng mag 4K. Anyway, point point being, uh, 
PC gaming allows me to get more serious into a lot more uh, more in-depth racing stuffs. Uh, sayang nga exclusive lalo na yung gusto ko ng Gundam versus na nasa PS4. Wala na pang PC. Um, yeah, yun nga. So, ang maganda, na, maganda naman to have a console for the exclusives talaga. So, ako, bala ko maglaro ng God of War, ganyan. Exclusive yun eh. Um, bala ko maglaro ng uh, Uncharted. Yun yung mga bala ko laro rin. Ayan. Actually, dapat di ko binili si ano eh. Ayan, Uncharted 4. Di ko pa nasasimulan. Red Dead Redemption 2, which is exclusive to PS4 right now. Pero may rumor na darating sa PC to, kaya dapat binili ko. And nantay ko na yung PC version. Um, ito wala to, Rocksmith ito. It's just that. Uh, ang, for the next several, for the next year siguro baka mag-subscribe ako sa rentals. Game rentals. Um, may bagong game rentals in town eh. It's called Baru. Go Baru.ph. Um, ito, Kuya Lionel, kung gusto mo. Hindi, uh, hindi ko alam kung meron ka ng, um, console. But, ito bala ko gawin kasi may switch din sila eh. So, all of my consoles ngayon, hirerenta na lang ako ng game. So, ba- GoBaru.ph or Baru Game Club is a game rental service. Um, it's about 1,000 pesos a month and then they deliver the games to your house. Uh, you get to play one game. Uh, you get to have one game at your person and then you have to return that game pag magre-renta ka ng bago. It's, all, it's like, uh, it's always meron kang game sa bahay mo to be playing. No? Uh, this is, I believe, uh, started by one of my friends and one of the old rental service people na kilala ko sa Game Hopper pa yung tawag nun, back in the Xbox 360 days. Uh, so, ang point nito is, you can get, play games as much as you want, as long as you want, and then you return it when you're done for a new game that you want to play. So it's a very good way to cycle through games that you don't want to buy and you only play a 1,000 pesos a month. Um, so kung, kung sobrang haba nung panahon mo para maglaro ng games, if you're a kid if you, and if you have a lot of time in your hands, 1,000 a month gets you, basically, if you play one game a week, you get four, you get four games for 1,000 pesos a month. And I think libre, libre yung shipping within Metro Manila. So, it's a good consideration within to think about. Uh, hindi ko pa siya natatry. One, pag may oras ako, if I'm going to back back to playing the exclusives that I missed on PS4, I'm going to subscribe to Baru. And then, maybe gagawa ko siya ng video on how it works. No, If you're interested in uh, how Baru works and kung hindi pa kayo subscribe So, Baru... Before me. Pag nauna ako sa inyo, gagawa ko siya ng content and hopefully mapanood niyo yung, yung video about it to explain how it works. Anyway. <coughs> uh, walang forces sa PS4. <laughs> si B-Boy talaga eh. Gran Turismo lang. Gran Turismo lang. <coughs> <coughs> Tapat kasi si B-Boy mag-build ng PC, yun know, for sure. Hindi siya mahilig sa mga PC build eh. Ako, ako I'm wait, I'm I'm excited for new PC builds all the time. Wala lang akong pera. Yun ang ano doon. Ito, nakita, nakita niyo naman yung bal- bala kong i-build, diba? Ito, pag nabigyan ko ng oras ito, you're gonna see this video eh. Matagal ko nang tinitis ito eh. Pero, lumang components gagamitin ko dito. This is gonna be for my kapampangan, kapampangan PC. This is a Matix, Matix case, MATX case. Uh, it's a small case. Uh, Beatles 2. Kung tayo sa Lazada. Bench PC3. <laughs> Ito siya. So, itima tayo na bili ko. Hindi siya ganun kaganda tignan, pero ma- gusto ko ng maliit na cube case sa uh, Pampanga eh. Para hindi masyadong ay storbo. Eh, may mga review na rin eh. Dapat buksan ko na nga eh. 
Pero i-review ko yung case. Uh, kasi gusto ko malaman kung maganda siya for, for the small form factor style na for 1,600. Ni, anong brand ito? GigaWare. Uh, Ice. Ice yung brand ng case ito. <clears throat> Beatles talaga yung pangalan. As in, uh, ano... You say goodbye and I say hello. <laughs> um, hashtag PC Master Race. Uh, sinabi about consoles na nag using, using Ryzen. Di ko na. Yeah, I would wait for PS5. <laughs> Yun ang gusto kong bilhin, PS5 na lang. Um, We'll take note. Uh, the big Tamiya show, the Bench PC3. Yeah, it could be the Bench PC3. Yung mga lumang... Yung lumang motherboard ko, lumang CPU ko, dito kay kakabit eh. Ito sa Beatles 2. Um, pero actually, inisip ko rin. Baka, mag, baka doon ako mag-build ng semi... ng mid-range Ryzen. Kaya lang, nagtitipid talaga. Ayaw ko gumasos eh. Marami pa ako mga lumang components. Lumang RAM, lumang SSD... Lumang motherboard, lumang i3, <laughs> lumang G4560. Ang kawalang kamatayang G4560. Sa ko kaya lalagay yung G4560 na yun. Anyway, uh, yun. Bala ko mag-build dito. Re-reviewin ko yung case, pero yung components sa ilalagay ko luma na. So, malamang pagtatawanan ako ng, ng, ng mga video, mga mga nanonood ng videos. Video, ah, luma yung components! Yuck! Yuck! <laughs> anyway, um... Nasaan na tayo? Sobrang dami nating adlib ngayon. Uh, so now, uh, in other AMD news, the Ryzen 5700 and 5700 XT was, uh, is going to be available soon. Thing is, in-announce na siya noon pa. It was announced back in, um, like, ano yun? Ano pang alam nun? <laughs> E3. In-announce siya ng E3, was it not? And uh, the pricing officially was supposedly um, it's like $600 and $500 if I'm not mistaken. Bumaba pa siya lalo. Uh, there is a reason why bumaba yung pricing. But currently, ito may pricing confirmation daw tayo. Galing sa back to gaming. And it was it's going to be 20,000 pesos for the X... R... R... X... Ano? R... X... <laughs> Si AMD talaga eh, gaya-gaya ng pangalan eh. Sobrang kailangan nilang i-confuse tayo with their naming eh. Si, Kamila, si, J, si NVIDIA is RTX. Sila RX 5700 XT sa RX 5700. Admittedly, RX na yan last, ano pa, noon-noon pa. Ngayon, kaya lang si NVIDIA yung RTX. Ay, nako. Okay, so RX 5700 is 20,000 pesos. Now, um... Ano daw to eh? Halos equivalent to like a 10, 6, uh, 2060 ba yun? And then the 5700 XT is 20, almost 24,000. Medyo pangit yung formatting ni Back to Gaming Society. But this is 21,000. 20,873. And then this is 24,500. At 24,461. Uh, may kasama ng taxer. Huwag mo nang isipin yun. Kasi sa Pilipinas, ang prices natin is... Inclusive of tax na. Hindi yung uh, dagdagdag pa ng tax after. <coughs> so, ito yung comparison ng pricing nila. The Galax 2060 one-click G- uh, OC is 18 na lang ngayon. 18,000. Ang hirap naman basahin itong... <laughs> Sino yung format nito? Mali, yung browser ko ba yung sab- sabog? Sabog yung format eh. Ayun, but maayos dito? Aba, fake news. Okay, maayos dito sa Internet Explorer, <laughs> sa Edge browser. Uh, so, the Radeon 5700 is 21,000. 5700 XT is 245. The Palette 2070 Dual is 26. 2070 XOC. Wala pa dito yung pag-uusapan natin next. So, ito may scandal ngayon. So, Alam na ni na, alam na nung buong mundo kasi ni, ni inannounce ni AMD na mag lalabas sila ng Navi GPUs na RX 5700 XT and RX 5700 in the coming week. So it should be available like second week this second week nga ba? Uh, this week ata or whatever official pricing for PC of cash basis as of 
this yeah okay whatever um ngayon si Nvidia ay magpatalo ay magpa ay magpa awat no hindi siya nagpapa <laughs> ay magpa awat sumagot so, si Nvidia galit si Nvidia kasi alam mo naman nag- lagi nagpaparinigan yung dalawa eh Nvidia went on the offensive and announced new GPUs nasa niyo Tsaka nilagay yan. Yan. NVIDIA announced new GPUs bago pa nagka... We've been waiting for... Ang problema, inunahan ni NVIDIA. Inunahan ni NVIDIA lumabas. Inunahan ni NVIDIA lumabas si Navi by... Si... Iniklian nila yung launch time. So, si... Uh, AMD was like, ito, mag announce kami. And then, one, about a month later, magla-launch kami. Si NVIDIA was, a, a week or so ago, <laughs> mag announce kami, and then nag-launch sila before pa nag-launch si AMD. So, inunahan nila si AMD. They shortened their announcement time. They shortened their launch time. And now, we have the GeForce RTX Super, a sort of overclocked, overpowered version of the original RTX gaming graphics cards, no? So, we have the RTX 2080 Super, the RTX 2070 Super, and the RTX 2060 Super. Mali yung nag-type po siya RTZ. Okay. Uh, the effect was, gagawin nito, mangyayari daw, bababa yung prices ng original RTX lineup. And nakikita mo ngayon, bumababa, may mga official pricing na, na nagbababaan. So, if you look at PC Hub, si Hub. Si Hub. Yan. So, si PC Hub nagbaba na, nakita mo na eh, may nag-officially announce na sila ng price drops ng some of the GPUs. Uh, if I can find it. Sa so, mga GPUs na inannounce. Somewhere here. Ano to? Oh, X570 motherboard. Nasaan na? Nasaan na? Nasaan na? Wait, hey, nasaan yung... Wali ba ako? <laughs> nasaan na yung ano? Um, yeah, then. Galax 2070 July 1. Ito ba yun? Saan yung price drop nila? Nakalimutan ko na. Niyatin sa webpage ni Galax. Eh no, si Galax they are advertising their super series na eh. Um hala. <laughs> price drop. Wala, hindi ko mahanap. But uh, I was I was seeing a lot of Galax prices going lower na. Um baka sa awesome table meron na rin eh. <clears throat> RTX. Yeah. So let's look at here. So RTX 2060 one click OC is 18 na lang. Uh dati 20,000 yun eh. I think effective I think na, na just time pricing na to. Um, valid today, 7-6-2019, 7pm. Um, tingnan natin 2070. Yeah, yung 2070 OC niya is 26k na lang. So, bumaba ng konti. But I think bababa pa yan in the next few months, no? Um, but it's good to know that the 2070 is getting much lower price na. Um, and then there's silang 27, 2080 Ti na. Ito, 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 yeah, 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 here's the one. Gra- Nagiging sa- somewhat abot uh, abot mo na yung presyo ng somewhat kaya mo nang bilhin si 2080 Ti somewhat presyo na ng smartphone <laughs> somewhat presyo na ng uh, high end smartphone <laughs> hindi na like the, isa, hindi na presyo ng coach <laughs> i think the best price here right now is the 2080 pero like i said parating nga si uh, the supers the supers and then meron tayong estimated price for the supers 
we are, ito mga estimated price. Pero hindi masyado nung malaki yung difference ng estimated price sa dito at sa Pilipinas. Kasi typically mala, mag, magkalapit yan eh. So, the 2060 Super is estimated at around 20,000 pesos. The 2070 Super is estimated at about 25. And the 2080 Super is estimated at 35. Dagdagan mo na ng konti. Gawin natin 22, 27, and 37K yan. So, somewhat adjusted na yung current uh, SRPs ng uh, Galax. Uh, na 2060 at uh, 18K. The 2070 at uh, 25. So, hindi, hindi, ito kailangan pang bumaba yan. Bababa pa yan eventually. And then, the 2080 is 37. Medyo mataas. So, expect... Kasi obviously, these are overclocked cards. Hindi siya stock cards, no? So, pag Galax, so you just... Si Galax nagdagdag ng extra 100, one, mga 2,000, like $50 because they are customized cards with extra fans and whatnot. Um, and slightly overclocked yan. Siyempre, mga OC, OC yan, EXOC, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, the pricing seems about right na medyo adjusted na tong Galax, no? Um, well, expect natin yung RTX Super cards to be about, uh, yun na nga, Ang estimate ko dyan, magiging 22,000 si 2060 Super, 27,000 si 2070 Super, and 37,000 si 2080 Super. Now, si 2080 Super daw is, is like a faster, some, is like a, pero sabi nila, top of the line pa rin si 2080 Ti. But I think you get better RTX capabilities or something like that. I know, man, sakit sa ulo. But, the fact of the, the 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 gist is uh current RTX cards from 2060 to 2080 bababa ng price ng konte very very slightly by about 1000 to 1000 pesos and somewhat nag take effect na yung price drop no uh and then nagkakaroon ng sa market ng 2060 super 2070 super 2080 super at their old price points at the old price points ng 2060, 2070, 2080. And if you're going to buy one, depending on nagtitipid ka, but if you could just add the extra 2,000, 3,000 pesos, buy the supers. Buy the supers. Because they're, sabi nga ni Kuya uh, uh, Norms, is like 15 to 24% difference in performance. Um, personally, I always like the higher-end model, so I'll get the super. Ayoko yung mas stuck with the older-end variant. Plus, sabi nila mas maganda RTX capabilities. Uh, this makes it very interesting because look at those prices. They're very, very close to the prices ni uh, RX 5700, eh, ni, ni, ano, ah, ni AMD RX 5700 and 5700 XT. Now, ang problem niyan is mas mabilis pa rin ang stock 2070 daw versus 5700 XT. And yung mas magiging mas mura pa C2070 si versus the F5700 XT. Then, yung 2070 Super will be at the same price of the 5700 XT but more, more, more powerful. So, yun ang nangyari. In-undercut ni NVIDIA si AMD. <laughs> so, ngayon, si AMD has actually brought down their prices. I don't know kung... Uh, so, AMD RX 50 price drop uh, RX 5700 a uh, Navi 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 price cut okay so there RX Navi kasi so ito naman uh, so original prices ng RX 5700 XT was $450 that's put, that puts it at about what uh, 23,000 pesos and then, $380 C. Uh, $380 sa sa ano yun? Uh, 18, 19,000 si RX 57. And ngayon, dahil sa naglabas ng RTX Super si NVIDIA, and nag-adjust ng prices yung original RTX 2070, for example. Um, you know, $400 na lang si RTX 2070. Wow, okay. So, si RTX 2070 magiging 20 mil? Wow. Yung, yun ang mangyayari. Magiging 20 mil si RTX 2070 
from the 27,000 magiging 20 mil. That's why si AMD will adjust. Nag-adjust sila ngayon. Uh, bago pa nila i-launch yung products nila, nag-adjust sila ng presyo. The RX 5700 XT will be $400 kasing, kasing binaba nila yung price same as the 2017 ni NVIDIA. And then yung 5700, binaba din nila yung price same as ay bababa ang price ni 2016 ni NVIDIA at $350. $350 is what? 17,000? 17, 18,000? Tapos magiging 20,000, 5700 XT. Now, talo pa rin technically si AMD because mas mabilis pa rin yung NVIDIA variant at the same price. Plus may ray tracing yung NVIDIA variant at the same price. Dito sila talo. Si AMD is sadly hindi ganun ko competitive in in uh, their graphics capability, their graphics chips. Uh, they need to either fight back with certain features, no? Or uh, they need to readjust. They need to launch something new. Wala pa rin silang super high-end, katulad ni NVIDIA, no? Plus, talo sila because ray tracing, hindi naman malaking bagay si ray tracing, but always to have, uh, if, if you're going to choose between the same price AMD card versus a more powerful NVIDIA card with the added bonus of ray tracing, you would choose the ray tracing. Um, so, this is gonna be a painful launch again for uh, AMD Navi GPUs. Kailangan talaga mag may gawin si AMD for their GPU sa 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 CPU they're winning sa GPU they're losing um, so Nvidia is putting the screws uh, tight to in to AMD again for um, better GPU so Nvidia still will likely have the better GPU strategy in the, in the coming months and I'm looking forward to more affordable RTX graphics cards even the super graphics cards. Uh, na naiinganyo na rin ako, gusto ko na rin mag-RTX eh. But uh, feeling ko hindi mo na ako bibili. <laughs> Kasi malamang aantayin ko yung uh, 2080 Ti. Ay, the 20, 3080 Ti or whatever. 2180 Ti. Magne-next gen na ako, imbes na current gen. Yun ang inaantay ko, next gen. Uh, even though hindi ko alam kung magkakabudget ako for it. Because I'm waiting for the next gen ray tracing. I'm waiting for next gen ray tracing so I can play my ray tracing games yung ngayon. Anyway, that's that for that. Ang gulo, napakadaming drama ng uh, PC gaming master race. Pero it's only uh it's only going to get better. It's only going to get more interesting in the long run. Anyway, let's move on to some stuffs. May nagtanong sa Oppo K3 Nasa si Oppo K3? Uh, 16,000 pesos? 16,000 pesos for... Uh, Snapdragon 710, AMOLED 1080p, uh, malamang 6 gigs of RAM, no SSD card, 16 gigs, 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel, motorized 16 megapixel selfie. Wag na ito! I know. I know may issues ako with, re with Xiaomi phones, mga ads, no? But in terms of specs, you should go with the Redmi K20. <laughs> okay, very similar sila ng specs. Look, um, so we have dual SIM, aluminum frame, AMOLED 1080p, mas malaki ng konti yung display ni Red ni Oppo. Uh, we have an HDR display on the um, the Redmi. We have a more powerful processor, Snapdragon 730. Wala silang micro SD card because fuck consumers, right? Mas maraming camera si Redmi K20 with the telephoto, the ultra wide and the wide, the normal. Habang si Redmi K3, eh, Oppo K3 only has the one camera plus the depth sensor. We have a motorized 20 megapixel on the uh, Mi 90. Putang ng pangalan na kay hirap ka usap. Uh, yeah, bukod doon, there's, there's many other small things that, that is better, like you have NFC and bullshit like that. 
I don't I don't see how the Oppo K3 can compete against the Redmi K20. Price to price point. Same price point. Eh. It's like what? 16K? 16K. May warranty si Redmi K20. Gray market si Oppo K3. Yeah, there's almost no contest here. You have to get the white market variant of the Redmi K20 at the same price point. 15,990 si Redmi K20, 65, 64 gig. Uh, medyo bitin, bitin din naman sa ano, bitin din naman sa storage yan, no? si Oppo K3 kasi wala siyang micro SD slot eh. Pareho silang bitin sa micro SD. So, walang advantage. You have triple cameras with telephoto wide and ultra wide on the the Redmi. Wala, walang, walang chance eh, no? si Oppo K3. You just go with the Redmi. Um, the only reason you would go for the Oppo is if you like the Oppo branding, if you like the social and look ng Oppo, you know, kasi Oppo siya eh. uh, Selfie master race. That's it. That's that's all I can say because you're talking about the gray market price point. Gray market, no warranty device with less specs versus a white market with warranty with official stores and all that. Pwede mo bilhin kung saan. Na higher specs. Better processor, uh, more cameras. Diba? Uh, mag, mag differentiating points na lang dyan, software kung saan mo gustong software I hope I prefer ko na yung MIUI even though saksakan ng ads uh, and uh, anong prefer mong style anong prefer mong personal choice no gusto mo ba ng K3 because sa challenge si Oppo mas, madat, mas maganda yung dating ni Oppo or gusto mo ng specs Redmi Honestly, I would go with the Redmi. There's very little reason to go with the Oppo. Unless, uh, unless may gusto kong impressin na babae na sobrang tuwan-tuwa sa Oppo. Because celebrity stuff. Or social yung dating. There's, there is such a thing. Okay? There is such a thing. May mga kumakausap sa akin, nagtatanong about smartphone. Magre-recommend ako ng smartphone and sasabihin niya, sabi ng shota ako maganda yung Oppo. Ito, sabi niya, putang ina mo, fuck you. Bakit ka pa nagtanong sa akin? Makinig ka na lang sa shota mo. <laughs> there is such a thing as people na masyadong matigas ang ulo. Or hindi, okay, tanggalin na natin yung tigas sa ulo. Huwag na natin gamitin yung term na yun. There is such a thing that the people that are asking advice, or hindi naman asking for advice, but just nakikipag-usap na lang. They have a brand preference. There is such a thing as people preferring certain brands. There is such a thing as celebrity loyalty. There is such a thing as mas prefer ko ito because mas maganda yung dating, mas maporma, mas, mag- mas gusto ko yung tunog ng Oppo kesa sa Xiaomi, mas gusto ko yung Oppo brand kesa ano, kasi meron siyang may Sarah Heronimo, meron ganito, meron ganyan. There is such a thing as intangible, subjective, personal preference. No? Hindi ko sinasabing pangit yung personal preference. It's up to you if your personal preference points you to the Oppo. But, ako lang masasabi ko is all objective stuff. Objectively speaking, the Xiaomi Redmi K20 is better. Subjectively speaking, because ang problema ko dyan is nagagalit ako pag tinatanong ako ng tao minsan. Hindi ko sinasabing yung nagtanong ng K3 is eh, may, may kasalanan doon. Eh. Minsan may tao talaga that will prefer the Oppo despite all the reasons. Despite all the reasons I gave you. So, hindi ko sinasabing mali yun. Hindi ko sinasabing brand loyalty is bad. Hindi ko sinasabing ano. But, when it comes to this point, ang sinasabi ko lang sa'yo, based on objective qualifications, mas maganda yung Xiaomi. If you like the Oppo, go for the Oppo because you like it. Uh, marami talagang ganyan akong nakakausap na... They ask for a, a, an objective opinion and then babalikan ka ng subjective na mas gusto ko kasi ng ganito eh. Mas gusto ko ng ganito eh. Hindi, nang gusto, hindi gusto ng nanay ko yung ganito eh. It almost gets off. <laughs> Nakaka-offend minsan. Kasi binigyan ko siya, bibigyan kit- <laughs> hindi, hindi ko sinasabi kung sino nagtanong na. Ano. But there are people like that na na-offend ako minsan. Na-offend ako. Because why why are you even asking kung alam mo na yung bibilin mo? Why are you even asking me for advice? You're wasting my time. Hindi, hindi yung nagtanong. Like I said, hindi yung nagtanong. May mga tao talagang ganito na lalapit sa akin, 
magtatanong, magpi-PM, magano. Sa mga sa page ko, ang dami nagtatanong. Ah, maganda ba to? Maganda ba to? Hindi sasabihin ko, hindi hindi ko gusto. Gusto kong ganito. Ah, hindi gusto ng girlfriend ko. Ah, ah, bakit ka nagtanong? Ha? Bakit ka nagtanong? Sinayin mo oras ko. <laughs> May ganun talaga. May ganun talaga. So, ang sinasabi ko lang right now is, nasa sa inyo yan, but, objectively, the Redmi K20 wins. Now, um, Redmi K20 tuloy. Mi 90. Mi 90 yung bilin mo. Yung may warranty. Ah, saan na ako sa basic na mga name scheme? Tsaka bakit ganyan yung background ng Mi 90? Bakit ganyan yung picture? Ha? Ha? <coughs> Ayoko na. Suko na. Sakit sa ulo. <coughs> Um, there was one other thing in the, uh, ito na, ito na, dito ako galit, dito ako mas galit, hmm, hmm. July 5th, 2019, 5.15 a.m., 5 comments. Ito yung ayaw ko eh. Ito yung ayaw ko eh. Sa India, in July 17. <coughs> Patrick Abora says, Mas mura yung Oppo K3 kesa sa Oppo F11 Pro 18K, 64 gig Oppo K3, 16K, 128K. Wait, yung, yung 16K ba? 128 gig? Oh, ah, 8128 nga nandito. Okay. I stand corrected. Ah, uh, kaso wala sa pangano ng micro SD. Yep. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. Ito yung ayaw ko sa Xiaomi in the Philippines. Ito yung ayaw ko. Because, nag-launch sila ng Mi 90 sa Pilipinas. Hindi nila nilaunch yung Mi 90 Pro. I was I was waiting for them to launch the Mi 90 Pro. I know maaga tayo. I know maaga yung sa mundo yung Mi 90 Pro kung magla-launch sa Pilipinas. Pero, hindi nila nilaunch yung Mi 90 Pro. And wala akong information kung magkakaroon ng Mi 90 Pro sa Pilipinas. There's, it's very possible magkakaroon ng Mi 90 Pro, but wala silang sinasabi, which leads me to a 50-50 chance na wala tayong Mi 90 Pro. Because sometimes, Meron talagang point na hindi tayo na hindi natin nakukuha yung certain products ng Xiaomi. But India though, India will get the Redmi K20 and the K20 Pro which is basically the Mi 90 and the Mi 90 Pro. I don't know why it's K20 over there and then Mi 9 sa atin. What? I don't even understand anymore. I thought the K20 was China only. I don't even understand Xiaomi anymore. So, ang K20 pala is also India market, hindi Mi 90. What what's the point of naming it the Mi 90 when the India market when the rest of the world also has a K20 Pro? What's the point? Ay, branding lang. Namimili lang kayo. Mas maganda brand dito. Ah, sa Pilipinas, me mas maganda brand. Sa India, no, no. Kailangan mag-red me tayo. Ah! And, they're getting the pro version with the 855. Sabi nila sa Philippines, fuck you, wala kayong kwenta. Fuck you, wala kayong pro. Why do they get the pro and we don't get shit? And we 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 I love it, Xiaomi. I love it. No, please, Lord, Xiaomi, love you, love you. Oh, and Xiaomi can do no wrong in the Philippines. Xiaomi can do no wrong in the Philippines. Whatever they do, I follow. Whatever you have to complain. Why do we not get the pro? You have to tell them what you think. Otherwise, lahat na lang ng ginawa nila. Pasado! Paano tayo magkakaroon ng Mi 90 Pro kung hindi ka magre-reklamo?
Wala. Ano? Ako lang yung nagreklamo walang pro. Ako lang! You have to let people know. Tapos yung mga vlogs yan. Oh, best, best phone, Mi 90. Best phone. I love the Mi 90. Best amazing phone. G gaming, gaming phone. I love it. Ha, oh, Mi 90. The best phone. 64 gigs! Nasaan? Nasaan yung... Nasaan yung... Nasaan yung 128 gig? Nasaan yung 128 gig? Hindi pa yun yung official eh. Hindi pa yun yung official seller eh. Nasaan yung official? Anak ng... Hey, Kuya Bench. What's up? Nasaan yun? Nasaan yung link? Sige, hanapin ko kung meron na tayo ng 128GB. What? Saan na punta? 90. Nasa pinakahilalim pa. Dalawa. Isa nasa ibabaw, nasa ilalim. O, oh, out of stock yung isa. Bakit out of stock? Ano to? Ito ba yung 128? Hindi. Hindi sinabi. Ha? Huh? Wait, what? Ayun, 128. Out of stock. Okay. Meron na. Meron na, I think. Hopefully. We have to complain na wala tayo nung pro. Yung India gets the pro. Sa YouTube, puro todo puri. Oh yeah, kasi libre yung ano nila. Libre yung unit nila. Okay, I have nothing against the Mi 90, no? But why not? Why don't we get the pro? Okay. We have to be... Hindi tayo maasenso dyan eh. Binabasurahan lang tayo ng smartphone ng ano lang Xiaomi. Toto puro yung review. Oh, bakit? Hindi naman sila nag-i-install lang apps. Nag-i-install sila tatlong apps. Yun na yun. Review na yun. Tapos na. 64 gigs, 128. Walang expansion. Ah. Sakit sa ulo. Anyway, uh, ang point ko is, ang, 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 sabihin na natin, kaya natin gawa ng paraan yung storage. Kasi ako, ginawa, ginagawa ko ng paraan yun eh. But, my main issue here is, nasan yung pro? Lalabas ba yung pro? And, and bakit na uni, bakit nagkaroon si India, tapos tayo wala? I know si India is na late naman ng konti for the K20, K20 Pro. Um, but isa rin yung problema eh. Bakit nagkaroon ng K20? Bakit hindi May 90, May 90 Pro? Ano ba talaga yung points ng naming scheme? Ano ba talaga yung point ng difference between May 90 and Redmi K20? I thought the Redmi K20 was the uh, uh, the Chinese name. And the May 90 and May 90 Pro was for the rest of the world. Bakit si India naging K20, K20 Pro? Ano ba talaga? Is there gonna be a global ROM of K20 Pro that we don't know about? And bakit sa Pilipinas, we get the Mi 90, Mi 90 Pro instead. Or Mi 90 lang. It's confusing. It's annoying that we don't get the Pro version. And we have low capacity pa. We have to complain. Hindi yung parang lagi lang yan. Yung mga vlogs, lagi, oh, best phone, best phone. Nangagayin mo yung mga camera. Halal! Ayan yung mga Thumbnail Ayan Alam nyo yan Sige 
So, wala, wala tayong pro. <laughs> Puro kayo positive. <laughs> sarap, sarap ng buhay natin. <laughs> That's our life today. You don't get no 855 version because everybody is like, ah! mm. That's what happens to you. That's what happens to us. Mm. Okay. Uh, kung nangyari sa India yan, sipin mo kung nangyari sa India nang walang pro version sa India. Kung walang pro version sa India, minora siya doon! Isipin mo yun? Si ano? Si Ranjit? Or si ano? Si Ash ng C4ETEC? Kung walang pro sa India, nung sasabihin ng mga yun? Sabihin nyo, isipin nyo kung ano sasabihin nung ni Ranjit or ni Ash kung walang pro sa India. Tapos dito, puro positive. Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Walang pro sa Philippines? Wow! Ha! Sige! Huwag kayong magreklamo. mo. Wala kayong, mak- wala kayong mapapala dyan. Anyway, yan, 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 yan. So, yan, isa sa mga news. May pro style sa, sa India. Kasi marunong silang magreklamo sa India. <laughs> anyway, isa lang sa mga news yan. Anyway, let's move on, no? Uh, Oppo K3. Yeah, okay lang si Oppo K3. I guess kung 128GB at 8GB yung ano. Pero, Snapdragon, doon na, ah, uh, hirap masabi eh. Ako, I would prefer, kung, kung 8GB, 128GB si K3 at 16K, um, mas gusto ko pa rin yung 64GB, 6GB with the triple cameras and the 730 processor ni 90 versus the K3. Um, if you needed more storage and you didn't care about the camera and the processor, sure, Oppo K3 is fine. Yan lang yun na nga. Keep in mind, walang warranty. Alright, let's move on. Uh... Si <laughs> si Xiaomi Mi 9. Okay, let's talk about some phones here. So, apparently, may bagong Lenovo. Z6, Snapdragon 730, triple cameras, 120Hz OLED for 14,000. Totoo kaya yung 14,000 na yun? Kung da- hindi, normally, hindi dumarating sa Pilipinas ito, mga to. Uh, according to this, 6GB 64 is 14,000. 8GB 128, highest invariant, is just about 19,000 pesos. And it has a 6.39 inch OLED Full HD+. Plus. Samsung 730, uh, 8 or 6 in expandable storage. Ang camera niya is 24 megapixel plus... Ano yung isa? Plus 8 megapixel plus 5 megapixel depth sensor. Ah, okay. So, meron lang siyang regular and telephoto. Okay. And then, ang selfie niya is... Ha, hindi sinabi ko ano yung selfie cam. Hindi ko makita ko yung selfie. Anyway, under display fingerprint. Um, we all know wala nang, wala nang Lenovo sa Pilipinas. So let's forget about this one. Hindi, hindi wala kang nag import ng Lenovo sa Pilipinas eh. Have you noticed? Um, natin. Lenovo Z5. Baka meron. Ayan, yan. Yung mga import na Lenovo. Ayan, <laughs> yung... <laughs> Maraming problema na wala daw na sa may notch naman pala. <coughs> um, oh, may Z5 Pro pala na ano, na slider slider eclavu. Hindi ba 845 ito? Hindi, Snapdragon 710 lang. What? Ayoko na, ayoko na mag-usap ng mga cellphone ngayon. PC na lang tayo. Um, wag, na, wag na natin pag-usapan matagal to kasi wala naman, di naman darating sa Pilipinas ito eh. Never naman darat. But it's also very interesting that it's 120Hz OLED. Tut- kung totoo yan, uh, it's very, very promising. Very interesting phone. Um, but likely hindi darating sa Pilipinas. Now, let's talk about the Xiaomi CC9. Uh, this is a mid-range phone or mid-entry level. Uh, entry level na lang din from Xiaomi. Um, I don't understand the naming scheme or the branding. 
if I'm un if I'm understanding correctly, this is a China only market, but probably malamang lalabas sa Pilipinas somehow. Um, malamang naman Xiaomi is madalas madalas sumalabas somewhere. So uh, it has a triple. Each device has a dew drop notch. Uh, na medyo malaki lang, slightly larger bezel, no. Uh, triple rear camera, 48 plus 8 plus 2. Malamang, that's 48 main, 8 megapixel telephoto, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. In display fingerprint scanner, 4000 mAh battery, and a 32 megapixel front cam. Wow, holy crap. Uh, CC9 has 710 processor. The, there's a lower end variant, CC9e. Uh, Snapdragon 665, so mid range, decent. HD plus lang. So, hindi 1080p. Medyo bagsak. Um, and then, may May 2 edition na hindi ko maintindihan. Uh, may May 2 logo sa likod. Ah, White Blue says, Mi A3 and Mi A3 Lite daw global version nila. Mi CC9 and Mi CC9. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, Napag-usapan natin natin last week. But, uh, hindi ko na masyadong pinansin. Um, hopefully, if this was a stock Android variant, Snapdragon 710, 6 gigs of RAM with a full HD plus display with a notch, and then you have the 48 megapixel camera. Pwede. And then, the impression niya is, nagsisimula sa 13,000, 14,000, and then yung E is less than 10. Pwede mo ilagay sa Redmi Note 7. Pwede mo itapat sa Redmi Note 7 uh, na stock Android. Um, not bad. So, meron siyang 48 megapixel plus ultra wide. Ah, ultra wide pala siya hindi telephoto. Plus depth camera. Pwede na rin kung stock Android. Um, and then obviously yung May 2 edition wala mang hindi lalabas sa Pilipinas. Kasi that's a very like branded edition. Um, mas gusto ko Red, Redmi Note 7 versus the CC9e. Even though Snapdragon 665 siya. Kasi ang problema ko dito yung 720p display eh. Um, ano, eh. Andito na naman tayo sa point na napakaliit ng differences ng phones na wala na akong pakialam kung anong pakialam. Anong, nasa preference mo na lang to eh. Kung gusto mo ng bago, luma eh. Um, pero yeah, may in-display in fingerprint. That's pretty nice. Yeah, tama ka white blue. Um, and kung stock Android siya. Yung, yung sinasabi mong comment plus kung stock Android siya, then that would be very, very interesting. Uh, bantayan natin kung ano mangyayari dito, but uh, that's uh, that's basically all we can say about that. Um, hindi, hindi ata AMOLED yung iba. Lahat ba sila AMOLED? Yung May 2 ata yung AMOLED. Ah, hindi AMOLED sila lahat. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Kaya lang, 720p kasi isa eh. We can look at our website. That's what it looks like. Um, Mito Custom Perry Color Dream Soft. Hindi <laughs> ko maintindihan. Um, grabe si ate. Diyos ko, ang laki ng mukha. Uh... Ah, ito yung nagpapapayat ba na camera? Ha! 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 Ano ba talaga? Yung mundo natin ngayon talaga. Iba na talaga pa. <laughs> Iba talaga mundo natin ngayon. Wala nang pakialam sa totoong ano, totoong picture ngayon. Pero nagre-reklamo yung mga babae, sabi nila, hindi unrealistic beauty standards as well. Sila ko, sila gusto nila ano man, sila gusto nila pag kinuha naman ng picture, ano, dinadaya ng camera. Oh well. Anyway, that's the Mi 9 uh, CC3, CC9. Mi 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 Oh my god, Mi CC9. Um Random stuff na lang bago tayo matapos. We have the Xiaomi... Uh, the, the Nokia 8 gets a price cut to somewhat ridiculous levels, no? Um, ano lang tayo? Nag-uubos talaga si Nokia ng stocks. Pero... Uh, this is somewhat decent. Uh, para sa akin, ano? Um, this is a Snapdragon 835, which is not the worst processor in the world. Medyo na, medyo luma na rin. It's two years old. But we have, this is a QHD display. Very nice QHD display. We've got 
decent specs. Now, keep in mind the specs on here and the camera on the the Nokia 8 is not the best. No, hindi pa to, hindi pa to Carl Zeiss, hindi pa to pure view. For 11,000 or 12,000 actually, 12,000, you get the basically QHD display. Lumang design, wala siyang notch, pero may, may bezel sa taas ang baba. Um, it's an old design. I think yung fingerprint scanner niya nasa likod or nasa side or something. I forget. For 12,000 pesos, you can sort of do okay with the 12,000 peso one. Ang pinaka number one selling point dito is the processor, the RAM, ne, the processor na lang, and the, the display at QHD. Um, bukod doon yung Nokia build quality na lang ito yung siguro nasan si D-Max D-Max ito yung number one phone para sa'yo murang-mura lumang lumang flagship ng Nokia and problema kasi sa Nokia ngayon medyo palpak yung bago nilang phones eh so this is like early early Nokia return no this is the the flagship nung first year nung pagbalik ng Nokia na wala pang Zeiss wala pang PureView um, it's it's okay for 12k, pero medyo it's it's long in the tooth. Isipin mo, this is very close to the price of a Poco phone, for example, or something like that. But you're still getting QHD, you're still getting 835, you're still getting the Nokia brand. It's worth it if you like the Nokia brand. Uh, there was an announcement for the LG G8s Thin Q, a very interesting phone from LG, na medyo weird, no? Uh, it's a 1080p display, which is in the is weird because QHD typically the LG G8, uh, but it's powered by a Snapdragon 855 and it's got triple cameras on 13 wide, 12 megapixel main, 12 telephoto, 8 megapixel na um, I don't understand yung Z camera. I think yun yung may parang 3D depth sensing camera so front facing no. Uh, it has. Uh, uh, Fingerprint sensor niya, nasa likod, hindi ba? Ang maganda dito, it's, it's still waterproof. Um, but there's no pricing available. So this could be a more budget-oriented version of the LG G8. The question here is, unang-unang, hindi naman darating sa Pilipinas ito because LG is dead sa Pilipinas. Nobody ba? This is gonna be in very, very limited quantities. And the competition is so fierce these days na napakahirap sabihin na dapat bumili ka ng LG instead of uh, let's say uh, uh, Galaxy S5, uh, Galaxy S10e, no? The S10e is such a compelling price point. Na I, I find it really hard to sell the LG G8s, especially since magiging great market in the Philippines. It's not gonna be cheap. Um, the some some other other brands have just conquered the market. Na obviously Xiaomi can probably conquer the market as well. So there's there's very little place for the LG G8s in the Philippines and the rest of the world, honestly. So that's the LG G8s. Tapos tayo dyan. Um We have one more news topic bago tayo matapos. Um, minor sale is going on. I'm gonna call it the extremely minor sale from. Uh, Nasa na ba yun? Si 7-7 Shopee. No? Si 7-7 Shopee said. Um, Napaka-minor kasi ng sale, but it's worth mentioning if you're still looking for a phone. Um, the Xiaomi Minor Sale. Sandali lang. Nakita nyo pala dyan. Uh... Saan napunta? Alrighty. Um, so, some prices here. Pocophone F1 priced at... Uh, ito na lang pala. Punta na lang tayo sa website ng, ng Xiaomi page. Uh, hey? Close. So, we got a Pocophone na 128GB variant. So, ito yung mas mahal na version. Uh, starting at 17, naging 15,990. 1,000 peso difference. Um, pictures. Photos. Um, timeline. Okay. Yeah, and ito yung mga Xiaomi, uh, Shopee sale. 7 7, July, June 7 to July 7. Huh? 
June 7 to July 7, patapos na. Nagsimula ng June, last month pa to. So Redmi S2 is priced at 5799 Hey, Okay. This is not bad. Snapdragon 625 and uh, 720p display. This is yung ano nila, pinagmamalaki nilang 2 micron pixel camera na hindi naman talaga. Redmi Note 6 Pro, hindi siya masyado naging popular. Um, dual, oh uh, yeah, ito yung quad camera. Remember these guys? Yung mga quad camera. Um, this is not bad, 8,000 pesos. Uh, Mi 8 Lite. At 11.379. This is not bad either. Me eat light. Uh, it's fine. Um, hanggang July. July 5 naman pala. Ah, so may schedule siya. Redmi 7. Tapos na. July 5. Redmi Note 5. Wow, buhay pa si Redmi Note 5. Me eat Pro. Ano yung different? Ah, ito yung may ano. Kaya lang ang mahal. 27, 28 pa. Yikes. Mi Mix 3. Mi Mix 3 is still a nice phone. I like the slider design. Poco for the so yun yung tapos na July June July 5 yung mga nakasulot eh whatever ala na akong pakialam diyan. Um kuya pa topic Huawei wala na ba at meron na Huawei Y9 oh my god yan pala. Sandali lang. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, ito na naman tayo sa mga medyo <coughs> Dingin natin. Um Philippines. Um, mm, 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 mm. I pop-up cam. So Huawei Y9 Prime 2019 gets a what, amazing, amazing name. <laughs> uh, so Kirin 710. Okay lang. Uh, 1080p display, 4 gigs of RAM, micro SD. 16 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel depth. Okay. 16 megapixel uh, na pop up camera. Oh, okay, okay. Fingerprint. Saan yung fingerprint niya? Is it uh, in display or not? Ah, sa likod lang. This is not bad. This is one of the. Uh, I wouldn't say the best, but. Kung gusto mo ng pop up camera, kung ayaw mo ng notch. And kung gusto mo ng pop-up camera full 12, 12K, this is not the worst thing in the world. But it is a Huawei phone. And uh, yun nga, questionable pa rin ng Huawei today, no? So, there was that news. Napag-usapan natin slightly ito last week. Actually, napag-usapan natin last week kasi um, kasagsagan nung last week when the news popped up, no? That Trump said na they're going to... Um, they're going to... Uh, and yun, loosen some of the grip of the, the ban ng Huawei. A lot of people interpreted that as a full pardon ng Huawei. No more bans, si Huawei. So, uh, currently, let's give them the benefit of the doubt na wala nang ban si Huawei. So, if you're still doubtful with Huawei being banned, then, uh, major, you have to be cautious about buying these Huawei phones. But, uh, there's more evidence right now that you could say na wala nang ban si Huawei. So, maybe it's, you can be more comfortable in buying a new Huawei phone like the Huawei Y9 Prime 2019. What a name. <laughs> what a name. Uh, this is not bad, but I don't... I don't... Uh, it's a good pop-up camera phone. Hindi nga lang in-display fingerprint or not. Whatever. It's, it's not good. It, it, it's not good. It's not bad. Alam niyo yung phones ngayon, the only thing I can say most of the time is it's not bad. <laughs> phones have had, a lot of phones these days are just a standard okay. A lot of phones these days are just a standard okay. They're gonna take okay photos. They're gonna do gaming okay. Um, and and this, 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 this is there. This is there. Um, so 13,000, 13,000. Oh, malas yung presyo niya, 13,000. 13 eh. Malas ang 13 eh. Um, uh, sino ba pwede ko ilaban sa 13,000? Wala. Si, uh, wala, wala. Si ano, si pinakamalapit na pwede ko ilaban is si Mi 90 eh. 
And also si, yun na nga, si Oppo K3. Um, I think ang talo mo dito is the Kirin 710. I don't think the Kirin 710 is as powerful as yung modern 7, uh, Snapdragon 710, Snapdragon 730 these days. Even though, mura nga siya at 13,000 pesos. Uh, I think malamang nagmura siya because of the current ban. Um, this is this is you know it, it it if you're interested in this this price point in a Huawei product in this price point with a pop-up camera seems like a good choice but uh, there's a lot of choices out there a lot of choices a lot of choices it's not the word it's not a word a, a terrible choice mind you hmm uh, I wonder kung bakal yung likod or glass. Um, uh, Nag-iisip ako nung pwede ko i-recommend at 13,000. I guess Pocophone. <laughs> Mabalik na naman tayo sa Pocophone. Eh. But yeah, yeah, yeah that's, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's, uh, that's, that's all I can say about that because yeah, that's, all, that's, all, that's all it is. It's not bad. Uh, ano pa sasabihin ko? Ay, oh, yeah, ay, sale. Tapos na tayo sa sale. I think we're done. Man, uh, medyo nag-revert ako sa ranty galit show. But uh, I apologize because uh, for some reason, ako lang yung nagreklamo sa buong Pilipinas. Uh, alam ko may mga tao nagtatunong, oh, darating ba yung Mi 90 Pro? Darating Mi 90 Pro. But as far as nagreklamo, is concerned, ako lang yung nagreklamo na wala tayong Mi 90 Pro. Bakit tayo ini-snub? Don't snub the Philippine market. And kasi sobrang, we, we, we treat the, we treat Xiaomi as God eh, these days eh. Galit na galit tayo sa China, pero we treat Xiaomi as God. They, ha- they make mistakes. You have to criticize their mistakes ng konti, No? To make sure that we get what we want, we want the Mi 90 Pro. If we don't complain, wala nang darating na Mi 90 Pro. And so, ano na naman, babalik na naman tayo sa gray market. Diba? Realme 3 Pro, sabi ni John Shaw, pwede. But I don't think hindi, hindi naman pop-up yung cam ni Realme 3 Pro, diba? Uh, Naka-notch siya. Pero okay lang naman yung notch. Actually, sa akin, wala. Tanggapin na natin yung notch. Hindi na talaga yan. But... Iba talaga yung dating pag walang notch. No? Magandang, magandang, maganda yung design. No? Um, it's only nasa personal taste mo na yan kung gusto mo ng uh, gusto mo ng malinis na malinis na front display or ayaw mo. No? Um, me personally, nasa 50-50 ako. Nagug- nagaganda na ako sa walang notch. No? Ganda ng walang notch. But I don't like the motor- motorized camera. No? Kasi medyo Another moving part is an issue for me. Um, ako parang mas gusto ko pa yung waterproofing eh. Although hindi naman talaga uso yung waterproofing because um, these days medyo matitin, ma- magaganda, ma- ma- responsable na yung tao these days sa uh, hindi nababasa yung phone. But uh, uh, the, the, the competition is just fierce these days. Ako masasabi ko niyan is hindi mo None of the, these mid-rangers are, are interesting me at all. <laughs> si Mi 90 and Mi 90 Pro, sure. Uh, and I, I don't consider the Mi 90 Pro as mid-ranger. But, uh, ano to? Um, hanapin ko si, ano? AJT. Yeah, si AJT Gadget World. Si AJT Gadget World, ah, uh, sinusubaybay ako lagi, is yung kanyang... Uh, Samsung S10. <laughs> Yan. Ito. Nakakatakot yung pricing ng S10 nyo eh. Um, if you look at their S10 Plus, as a 39K. I know, okay. Sabi na natin, ano. Huwag na tayong mag S10 Plus because ma- mahirap yung warranty. But look at the S10e na 6GB 128. At, nasa 30,000, no? Um... I would like to highlight that a little bit more, no? S10e at, at 30,000 pesos. Um, the 
the much vaunted Zenfone 5, Zenfone 6 na hindi lalabas sa Pilipinas. Wala na akong paniwala na lalabas sa Pilipinas sa Zenfone 6. The much vaunted Zenfone 6 is priced at at least 25,000 pesos. Wala man sa Pilipinas. The uh, much, uh, yung K20 K20 Pro na gray market is nasa 23K. Snapdragon 855. Um, ano pa yung Snapdragon 855 less than 30K? Si Mi 9? The original Mi 9, nasa to, na, mapahirapan maganap, nasa 23-25K. Um, if you ask me, I would rather have the S10e. The Samsung Galaxy S10e. Um, even though mahi- mas maliit yung baterya, <laughs> mas maliit yung screen, um, I think Samsung has the superior product. Uh, and I would rather pay 30000 for the superior product. Um, I know gray market lang ito, but it's it's really, really giving me a, a, a perspective on these phones na if it's anything, 20,000 pesos up, SME gray market ako. Even though, I know, mahirap, mahirap, mahirap protektahan ng sarili natin when it comes to problems with the uh, gray market products. No? Um, I'm willing to take the risk. Uh, it's waterproof. It's got a micro SD slot. It's got a, 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 yun, Samsung DeX capabilities. It's got amazing cameras. I'm, I'm saying amazing cameras. It shoots 4K video. Uh, main camera shoots 4K video, selfie camera shoots 4K video. It's water, like I said, waterproof. May headphone jack. It's a great vlogging phone. Uh, many, 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 many things. It's number 855, like I said. May uh, may labanan, but also you know, I don't know. It's it's just I'm. Ang hirap may excite ngayon sa mga phones because they're so average. <laughs> they're so average. Nothing differentiates them. It's it's it, you know point ko I think. That's the best point I can make. Smartphones are boring because they're so average. Nothing differentiates them from one another anymore. What I know what difference does the what differentiates the 90 from the Oppo K3? Bukod sa minor differences in specs and price. Nothing makes them different anymore. They're the same. None of the well, well, waterproof yung isa? No. Magandang maganda yung camera above every, anything else yung isa? No. Bakit yung Huawei na Y9 something something Prime 2019? It's the same. The camera will likely be passable to, to a point na pare-pareho sila in that price point. They're so similar. Nothing stands out. The only time na nagiging standout sila, like a Poco phone, for example, or if they're affordable, Snapdragon 855. But the eight, the 90 is a 730. It doesn't stand out. Uh, that's why they're so boring. Sorry, medyo nagrarant na ako. Uh, kuya, magkakaroon na yung display camera yung ko kung this year or next year. Next year pa yan? Matagal pa yan. Let's, for, let's forget about the in-display camera for now, no? Kasi, ang pinaka nakakaasaw niya niya sa ano eh. Um, balik na natin si Classroom. Wala na tayong papakita eh. Uh, ang pinaka problema ko with in display in display camera no is the perception that people will think na affordable siya. <laughs> There's always si Kuya Dimax will always post something. Oh my god, and we're waiting for the the new in display camera and then pag lumabas yung presyo like oh tong ina, yo kunyan. Like come on. We need to already know this by now. We need to have been used to this by now. There are no miracles in this world. Especially by Oppo. Oppo and Vivo yung nag ano, ng in-display camera eh. You think it's gonna be cheap? Ain't, not, ain't nothing gonna be cheap from Oppo Vivo. Uh, 
Is it important to have the in-display camera? Sure, why not? But I prefer practicality and price point and and no versus the 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 awesomeness of in-display camera. We'll get there eventually. But <coughs> do you think na makakabili ka to next year for a reasonable price? Ain't and, uh, uh, come on. Si Oppo Vivo meron bang uh, eight, uh, actually si Oppo ano ba yung <coughs> yung Reno niya magkano yung 855? 38 ba? <laughs> let's ano, let's let's just accept the fact na new technology will cost more, especially from brands that are asking for, that always have asked for more. Wag tayong umasa na. Oh, I'm gonna be uh, 15,000 in this in display camera. No. Wala ko yung unang in-display camera na lalabas will be, kung mid-range yan, 25K. Kung top range yan, 50K. Okay? Let's be, let's, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. Um, my timeline, in my head, if, there, if the technology is one year away from today, you're not gonna be buying that technology one year from now, then it's not worth thinking, it's not worth putting into the equation because likely may bibiling kang phone within within a year. Diba? Next two to four years, mura, mura na yung in-display. Yes, tama ka, Patrick. No? Um, let's, let's just say na um, ang target Target timeline natin for buying a phone, every time we discuss a target timeline for buying a phone in this show, is within typically four to six months na lang. Let's call it a four to six month window. I normally would put it on a three month window when we discuss phones. When we discuss phones, it's expected that you will buy it within the three months. In my opinion, in Ako, ako personally within two months eh. because I don't want an old phone I don't want to buy a phone that's old I want the phone to be at the sweet spot of new and affordable sweet spot of new and affordable but when a phone is too old like the Pocophone F1 and it's still priced at 15,000 pesos it's way off the sweet spot it's way too old but still priced high I, you should have bought that earlier. You should have bought that when it was still 16,000 pesos last year. It's still 16,000 pesos this year. So, nasayang yung isang taon mo to, 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 to enjoy the phone for a year at the same price point. No? It's too late now because it's still priced the same. You're not going to pl- buy that now and then next year you're going to be like, oh my God, this thing is still, you know, very, very, uh, very, very powerful compared to the rest of the. I don't know. No, it's gonna be way too old next year. So you're too late right now. If you buy a Poco phone at 15k, 16k, it's too late now. Next year it's gonna be way too old. Okay. So on timeline ko every time we discuss smartphones, on timeline ko is if we're talking about the price point, we're talking about the specs, we're talking about the no. My personal timeline is two months. I'm only thinking about what will come in the next two months. If I'm going to side on decide on buying a phone, it's gonna be the next two months, right? Sa ibang tao, they have to obviously, understandably, magiipon, and then hindi naman sila ganon ka diehard sa sa smartphone technology, and they don't have to be as updated, no? So let's call it four to six months sa ibang tao. I would, I would even want, I, I, ako personally, pinakamatagal ko would be three, four months, no? But four to six months ay bantao. In four to six months, wala pa ring considerably in display camera. No? In four to six months, wala pa ring in display camera. So kahit magtipid ka from this point on till December, meron kang 10,000, 15,000 pesos. Masuerte ka na kung meron kang 15 mil on most of our, uh, ano, on most of our salaries. First of all, wala kang mabibiling in-display camera at 15K, even kung may lumabas at the time. Pangalawa, hindi naman, eh, yung 15K mo, walang mabibili bukod sa poco <laughs> There's not gonna be a smartphone with an in-display camera. First of all, physically, there's not gonna be announcements. Second of all, it's not gonna be 15,000 pesos. No? 
So, I'm only going to consider talking about an in-display camera maybe January 2019 to be considered in my brainwaves in a purchasing decision for advice, no? I, I don't know kung naiintindihan nyo. I hope you understand. Medyo magulo itong pinag-uusapan natin. My brain thinks of the possible permutations of the phones within from today up until the point of purchase na ng target ko. Alam ko, medyo matindi yung usapan. So I'm saying, my, my, my brain thinks of what is a good phone today until yung point of purchase ko, which is normally two months from now. That's my brain. That's how my brain works. The best phone I can think of that is the best phone from today up until two months from now is how I, my brain works. And then for other people, ang recommendation ko is typically, because I know their timeline, is I would go forward in time. Ang permutation ko is between today and four to six months from now when I give advice. Because typically, that's when they'll be planning on buying their phone. Minsan, they buy it immediately. But that's also kasama sa permutation ko. Because, I'm thinking, ano yung, para sa ibang tao, if, I, if they buy it right now, even though I'm thinking six months ahead, that means their phone will be the best choice even six months from now. Even six months from now. Even six months from... I hope nagigets nyo to. Medyo malalim. Medyo, I know, medyo magulo yung ano. And, and uh, you, may konting imagination a little bit to think about what I'm saying here. Ito na lang. I'll give you an example. I have a Galaxy S10 Plus. Galaxy S10 Plus, no? Let's say we're here today. We're in July 2019. Wala akong Galaxy S10 Plus. I haven't bought one. Let's say today I have I'm thinking about buying a new flagship phone or I'm thinking about the buying a new yeah flagship phone na lang. So flagship phone that's one of the permutations in Isuko. In July 2019 Alex wants a flagship phone. What in the next 2 months will happen that will change the flagship phone uh uh landscape? And what are the current flagship phones you can consider today? Yeah, good good question. What are the current flagship phones? We have the Mi 9, Mi 9T Pro, K20 Pro. We have the uh, Galaxy S10 Plus. We have Apple, whatever. So we have the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's, let's consider that the best choice right now for flagship phone for me, obviously there's the P30 Pro as well. No, P30 Pro, Galaxy S10 Plus. July 2019. Okay. Now, my brain will go forward in time. Pass forward. Now, July, August, September. It's now September 2019. My brain is forward into the future. Ano ang phones available in September 2019? You ask yourself. You ask yourself. What phones are available in September 2019 that are good and they might be better than the S10 Plus or the P30 Pro. Huh? What? I can answer that very, very easily because I know how the, the internet works, the world works. There will be the Galaxy Note 10, there will be the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, and there will be the iPhone 11. Bukod doon, baka lumabas na rin si Mi 90 Pro sa wakas sa Pilipinas. So, my brain, ano siya sa September 2019, no? Sabi niya, okay, my brain already knows na it's possible matalo si Galaxy S10 Plus back in July. So, sasabihin ko sa person, and then, yung, yung brain ko sabi niya, okay, time to go back to the past. Babalik si brain ko, nandun ako sa July, no? Sasabihin ng brain ko, bro, 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 wag ka muna bumili ng S10 Plus. Ha? Huh? Wag ka muna bumili ng S10 Plus because 2 months from now, meron ng Note 10 Plus, meron ng Mate 30, Mate 40 Pro at meron ng iPhone 11. 
That's how my brain works because I know mao obsolete. Pag bumili ako ngayon, ngayon pa lang, if I buy it right now, luma na to. Because in two months, luma na itong S10+. Plus. That's how my brain works. That's how you buy things. That's how I give advice in terms of buying phones. No. Um, now, why did I buy an S10 Plus? Because I bought it three months ago. Three months ago. Think about it. Think about it. Three months ago, bagong labas ang S10 Plus. It was like a month after the F- mga mga yeah, a few basically a month after lumabas si S10 Plus sa, sa Pilipinas, no? Um So, y- yung brain go back in what was it? May? No, no, no. April? Was it was something before April at that. My brain was like, what's going to happen in 2 months? <laughs> Wala, walang bago. Ni sabi, anong bagong cellphone? Ah, Mi 9, Mi 90. Boring. Wala, walang bago. <laughs> Balik siya sa, sa April. Oh. Sabi niya doon sa April version ko, ah, walang bago. Mumili ka na ng, ng Galaxy S10 Plus mo kasi in two months, walang tatalo sa S10 Plus mo. May enjoy mo yung S10 Plus mo for, the, for at least two months of pure, unbridled, complete flagship, walang tatalo power. It will be the best phone you will own and any per- person in the world will own for at least two months. And I know for a fact na even kung finas forward ko pa yun, up until August 2019, it will still be the best phone I have that the world will ever have for the for until August 2019. And it's a great choice to buy right now so I can take advantage of it being the best phone I could buy from April 2019 to August 2019. I would have April, May, June, July, August. At least six months. Six months of a phone being the best phone I could ever buy. Six months of the best phone I could ever buy. But, if I if I buy it today, if I buy the S10 Plus today, it will only be two months of it being the best phone I could ever buy. Two months lang. That means if I waited two months, I could have bought the Note 10 Plus. I know, medyo malayo na tayo sa pinag What I'm saying is, in my timeline, what I'm thinking of is just kung ano yung best phone in the next two months. That's what I'm saying. And walang in display camera sa best phone in the next two months. So, wala na ako. I don't even give a crap about the phone with an in display camera because in the next two months, there will be no phone with an in display camera. There's never in my quote, in my consideration. But, if you ask, okay, so, eh, what about other people? Eh, hindi naman sila ganun ka interesado na bago yung phone nila. Okay. Yung four to six months, yung sinasabi ko, four to six months yung timeline ko naman is when they'll be buying their next phone. In four to six months, that will be December, pinaka latest, pina, December, January 2020. Wala pa ring viable in display camera phone in January 2020. Nobody launches phones in November, December. Nobody. Nobody launches phones in this, at least a flagship. Nobody launches phones in November, December, January. Nobody. Kasi in January, wala pera yung tao. November, December, wala, masyado ng late. Phones launch in September, October, August. August, September ang number one timeline for phone launch. Um, so, pinakamaga dyan is like late late January, uh, uh, early February, mga MWC. But hindi naman magiging available agad. Gotta wait another month before it becomes available. This, this, my, brain, this my brain already tells me nine months from now, wala pa rin tayong me, wala pa rin tayong in display camera. Maybe maybe merong pro, merong conference na sinabi, "Hey, this is Vivo, we got an in display camera coming up." But it's not available yet. So, if it's not available, it's not even in my quotation, in my consideration because 4 to 6 months from now, I mean, I think 9 months from now, my brain teleported 9 months from 
Okay. It's February, uh, March 2020. Kakalabas, kaka-announce pa lang ng Galaxy S11. Hindi pa lang malabas sa stores, pero kaka-announce pa lang. Uh, si, si, si LG, walang kinagawa sa mundo. <laughs> Si si Oppo and Vivo meron silang in-announce na. Ah, oh, parating na yung aming uh, in-display camera. But it's March 2020, parating pa lang. That's nine months from now. Nine, nine months. Nine months from now. In terms of technology, in terms of how long that is in technology, that's like that's five years in technology terms. Technology moves so fast. Technology moves so fast that nine months from now, then might as well be, ano, iba, lumilipad na siguro tayo. We have flying cars. We have, uh, 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 we're already living on the moon or Mars or something. Ang layo nung nine months. It's so far off. If you're, if you're with, I, I think about it na lang. Eh, sorry, masyadong matagal itong monologue ko. If you're thinking of Delaying a smartphone purchase today. If you're thinking of delaying a smartphone purchase today, July 2019, up until, because nabalitaan mo may parating na in-display camera in the next year, how many, how long do you think you'll be waiting? You're, that does not affect a purchasing decision today. Because it's so far away. <coughs> Masyado. Dapat nag-unbox na lang tayo ng tami eh. <coughs> eh, 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 eh. This is one of the things na I... I think ano, I think I should just stop doing it. I just stop using my my brain sa mga content ko. I just make some dumb content. Because uh, nobody likes the very, the real world talk sometimes. <laughs> Hindi mabenta yung real world talk. Eh. All you gotta do is like, I don't get the best. I don't the best phone. Mm, I must buy now. Oh, you should have bought this one. Oh, nah, eh, ganun, ganun yung content ngayon eh. Dapat ganun na lang yung content ko. Hindi na lang dapat ako nag-iisip. Hindi na lang dapat ako nagbibigay ng actual proper buying decisions. I just, just I'll buy this one! Best gaming! <sighs> Kuya, di lang si Oppo meron sa display camera sa Xiaomi din. Yeah, pero uh, si Oppo daw mas nauna ng konti. I mean, si Vivo ata yung number one ngayon. Yung pinakauna. Well, most likely si Oppo siya Vivo yung mauna because Xiaomi kasi they, mura lang yung, yung mas mura yung products ni Xiaomi they can't afford to uh, R&D that much, no? Um, bira mauna si Xiaomi with technologies like that. Uh, nakita niya yung pop-up camera na una si uh, sila Oppo Vivo and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Napa... Alam nyo, I try to prevent myself from actually commenting on on the content ng ibang sites yan pero talaga they don't they don't even they 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 get paid because they they just want hype they just sell hype that's what they do like ah, album best phone ah, um, ah, oh. gotta sell the phones gotta sell, gotta make the gotta make the 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 brands happy so I get more free shit. Uh, anyway, uh, ang point ko is, uh, as a purchasing decision, the in-display camera, let's, I would even go as to say, in 12 months, there is still no purchasing decision to, there, there, uh, 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 there is no viable in-display camera available in the next 12 months. In the next 12 months. So, pag-usapan ulit natin to, July, 2020, babalitaan natin kung kung mali ako or tama ako. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin in July 2020. Kung mali ako or tama ako. Mali ba ako at meron ng available na in-display camera na affordable at 
abot kaya niya. Parang decently affordable, decently available sa Pilipinas, decent availability. Hindi yung super exclusive sa tatlong tatlong tao lang. Uh, so pag-uusapan natin to in July 2020, bibisitahin natin to in a year. In one year, ang prediction ko wala pa ring in-display camera in a year na widely available at a good price. I'm saying it's possible magkakaroon ng like Oppo Reno in-display camera at 40,000. Na medyo exclusive sales and then maybe hindi pa lang sa Pilipinas, maka-available in China only or something like that. That's gonna eventually happen. I don't there's a there's a small chance na meron ganun in in the next 12 months but not gonna be widely available, not gonna be in mid-range prices for sure. Okay? So that's my prediction. That's why I don't think it's worth considering in what I'm trying to debate against buying a phone or not. Kasi, ang, like I said, ang, if you consider phones that are way too far forward in time, in today, then wala kang phone purchase in the next 12 months. You're, you're delaying your phone purchase for, the, for 12 months. Now, if you already have a recent phone na medyo okay, that's fine. But like I said, ang current discussion ko, the way I discuss phones and and purchasing phones is in the ne- yung target ko is people who are buying phones in the next six months. Yun ang, yun ang, that's the reason why I don't consider these phones, no? Because in the ne- nine months, twelve months is like basically back to the future. It's like thirty years in the future, na. That's way too forward. That nobody can predict that stuff, or nobody can. Way too much of a long wait for people interested in buying a phone. You know? Uh, way too long a wait in buying a phone, in a purchasing decision. Because a purchasing decision should be current. Should be... Why, why would you even consider thinking of... Ah, no. Hirap pag-usapan. You should never even look at phones today. If you're planning on buying next year, you shouldn't be even be researching specs today. If you're planning on buying a phone in March 2019, you shouldn't even be watching. Well, okay, so panorin mo, panood ka ng BTS. You shouldn't even be putting your ear to the ground and reading blogs about specs and stuff. If you're planning on buying a phone starting March 2019, because every single phone launched right now up until March 2019 will be useless information pagdating ang March 2019. That's when, you, when you're when you almost about to buy a phone, that's when you do research. Because otherwise, bali wala. Ba- bakit? Ano yung, in- bakit yung, yung information about a, a, a Kirin, uh, no, 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 a, a Helio P20, useful pa ba ngayon? Useful pa ba ngayon malaman ko ano yung, ano yung phones na may Kirin ay na may Helio P20? No? Because nobody's gonna buy a Helio P20 anymore. So, bakit, bakit ka nag-research ng mga Helio P20 noon pa when you weren't, weren't planning on buying back then? Sorry, alam ko may, baka may tinatamaan dyan sa mga sinasabi ko. Mayroong mga natitrigger sa mga sinasabi ko. May mga tao na parang, oh, o nga, no? Ako yun na. May mga ganun. I'm sorry. Uh, I know there is such a thing as being medyo updated sa technology. And ako, updated ako sa technology by, by, because it's my hobby and all that. And people will be, there will be people that are interested also as a hobby. Uh, di sa ganito. So, akin, that's just a passing curiosity. When a phone, when I'm not interested in buying a phone, most of the time, it's just a passing curiosity. Okay, interesting specs or boring specs, whatever. Kalimutan ko na. When I'm buying a phone, that's when I'm... Kailangan absorb. Absorb ko lahat ng specs. Absorb ko lahat ng phones na bago. Absorb ko lahat ng ano yung, import, ano yung specs na gusto ko. Ano yung price point na gusto ko. Saka ako, focused. For the next two months na pala kong target na bibilin, aalamin ko lahat ng options ko. Aalamin ko yon. And then I will make a decision and buy and then... The next, hindi na ako interesado masyado. Eh, babasahin ko na lang yung specs and pag-aasa, pag-aaral ako ng konti. But, I, I, hopefully, nagigit siya yung ibig sabihin ko. 
Um, for me, debating on what yung yung debating on what phones currently are today. And then saying hindi na siya pwede, hindi na uso yan, hindi na pwede ngayon yan kasi in the future in the future lilipad na yung mga cellphone natin saka magkakaroon ng uh, magkakaroon ng in display and then magkakaroon tayo ng hoverboard and lili, ano titira tayo sa buwan and, you know, <laughs> it's too far forward in the future that you, yung yung current purchasing decision for today it's not affected when you're too when you're thinking too far into the future what, more than nine months into the future, that doesn't help any purchasing decision that is that is for today. Because it's too far into the future. When it's close, when it's the near future, when it's tangible, when it's you can almost hold it in your hand this year, in the next six months, then we can discuss. Then we can discuss purchasing decisions. Then you can say, don't buy that S10 Plus because darating si Note 10 Plus. Right? Babalik tayo sa S10 Plus and Note 10 Plus. Eh. If I did not buy the S10 Plus back in April, back in April, then, kung bibili ako ng S10 Plus ngayon, that would be a bad decision on my part. Because, in two months from now, there would be a Note 10 Plus. So, in, it par, it becomes part of the consideration. But back then in April, wala pang Note 10 Plus in the horizon. Kahit tumingin ako malayong malayo, wala. Note 10 Plus is so far into the horizon that it won't affect my purchasing decision back in April. It won't affect my purchasing decision back in April because it's six months from now. Six months from then. Uh, plus, there's <laughs> there's rumor na walang headphone jack sa Note 10 Plus. Anyway, ah, oh God, sorry, sorry. Masyado, ah, uh, talagang dapat gumagano na lang ako. Ah, no! Buy it now! Best phone ever! Wala tayo, hindi natin kailangan ng Mi 90 Pro. Ah. Yeah, um, I'm sorry kung masyadong, um, Uh, masyadong hindi man mind bending eh. masyadong theoretical yung usapan uh, it's just what differentiates me from other content creators in this regard no um, it's just that you know um, I try to be more practical in purchasing decisions. I try to produce more practicality. I try to introduce more practicality to to my advice in in purchasing decision. You know, that's 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 what I want to say. I want to be realistic and practical. Okay. Wow. Oof, napaka drama ni Kuya Alex. Tang ina, hindi na lang siya magano, no. Ay! Oh, yeah. Ganun na lang dapat eh. Dapat magtamihan na lang tayo lahat. <laughs> Pinag- Pinag-trip ako tuloy si B-Boy. Tami- <laughs> kasi hindi, hindi. Pag tamihan kasi, hindi ko kailangan mag- ano, mag-advice-advice. Kailangan mag-bubuo lang tayong tamihan. Hindi ko, hindi ko kailangan. Not, not, nothing nothing uh, controversial na lang. Nothing controversial when we talk about tamihan. Uh, maraming salamat sa pagpapanood. That's it for our show. That's it for Big Time Show. September. Uh, September. Uh, July 6, 2019. Uh, thank you for a lot of the discussion. Uh, Patrick, Abora, I know, mar- marami tayong, ma- uh, you're, isa sa mga kausap ko sa ganyan. And I know, nakakaintindihan naman tayo. I know, na-enjoy mo yung ganitong topic. Um, hopefully, nag- na, nagkaroon tayo ng parang sort of uh, interesting discussiones and then, ma- ma- uh, nagkaroon tayo, you uh, Um, how do I describe it? Nagets mo yung point ko. Hopefully, nagets mo yung point ko. Nagigets ko rin yung sinasabi mo. Uh, and I know, hindi naman tayo nag <laughs> This is more of a... Being fans of technology. Tatamiya ko. So, gagawa na lang. Nagtatamiya na lang tayo ko. Norms, parang hindi na ako nag-iisip. 
isip pa tayo eh. Hindi naman kailangan. <laughs> hindi, hindi ko, hindi ko sinisita si Biboy ah. Um, but napakadali kasi, napakadali nung gumawa ng kami ah, instead of, instead of talk about another, another phone na boring na naman. <laughs> Alright. Uh, mga kuya, sorry for the weird, uh, very madrama, very, na, bumalik na naman ako sa galit show eh, sa, sa Alex Ranch show eh. So, uh, hopefully next week, uh, maging interesting ang ating topics, but uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.